up to town so you could you could watch he grabbed the microphone and he was like look here look listen don't go around giving advice about stuff that you don't know anything about look here look dude it's gonna be dude it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a, a you know it's gonna be legendary dude Zip, zip, uh, plop, doop. Okay, we got one watching, and that is me. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to share a Discord. Ow, I'm itchy in my back area. That's cool. It's cool when that happens. I like that. I enjoy it. It's fun to be itchy and aggravated when you can't, you know, think. I love it. It's my favorite, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I guess tomorrow I'm going to... um. I'm going to take the time to, um, Brett, Ho is it hoppy or hop? I'm going to guess hop unless you correct me. How are you today? My good sir. Sorry, I'm on so late. I, I actually, uh, me and my daughter took a trip today. So we, um, <clears throat> we just made it home just, uh, just really just a few minutes ago, actually. Trying to remember, I had a had a an agenda. You were right the first time, Hoppy. Oh, really? So it's it's like Hoppy, like the uh, like the gun cleaner. That's cool. Yeah, when I when I saw your name, that was the first thing I thought was I was like, I wonder if it's like the gun cleaner. I think I'm gonna save my blood rock. Just in case, at the last minute, I decide to go pizza cutter. Because I do have a pizza cutter, and I still have lots of upgrade mats I can use if I need. Yeah, I used to, dude, I used to be a really big gun guy. I, um, I was, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like somewhere along the lines, I just started looking at gun stuff on YouTube and just started being like, dude, I gotta buy a I gotta buy a gun. Like I had a, I think I bought um, like a 22, and before long I was like, no, I want a handgun. I need a handgun, and um, you know I was waiting for tax time before I could buy one. So for several months I was just like, dude, I cannot wait till the day I get to buy a gun, and I was just all in on that shit for a little while. Uh, well, they're just, I mean, they're fun to shoot. They're cool. Oh, they are. They're, they're really fun. Guns are fun. Um, yeah. I remember, uh, there were times that, um, we would have people from, um, like other states up north, and they would come through the store, and they would say, does it, uh, does it freak you out? seeing all these people walking around in here in your store with guns and I was like dude if you had a gun you'd probably carry it with you too because guns are cool <laughs> they're fun and I mean like uh, especially like if you buy something that's like a semi-automatic like a Glock it's like you can take them apart and you can do all this cool stuff with them you can change out stuff and uh, I don't know they're kind of they're kind of fun to play with um, the only thing is my wife used to get totally pissed off by the smell of the gun cleaner because gun cleaner is really strong, but it's weird because I think if you, I think if you really get into guns, the gun cleaner using the boom mic, and I noticed last night everybody was like, "Dude, you're way too loud." Um, let me let me listen here. I may need to. I, I either need to back the mic away from my face or just turn down the input in the PlayStation. I bet. I don't know. That's not that bad. I have my volume super low and I can hear it great. Actually, that that might be really good because I remember when um, we were playing. Uh, you don't know Jack. Well, not Jack, but we were um, we were playing the Jackbox Party Pack on my birthday. Well, actually, it was the day after my birthday. But when we were doing Jackbox Party Pack. Um, Everybody was like, dude, the game is so loud and it doesn't have an option to turn the volume down. You know, like in this game, 
You can go into settings, environment, you know, you can just take everything down and it's and it's cool like that. And and you don't know Jack games or the in the Jackbox Party Pack games, they're just like, no, F you. You just gotta do it. Let me think here. Um we what what did we do? We killed the wet nurse. We killed a Britus. The wet nurse is um, the the wet nurse is actually the second to last boss of um, so, like, what is a wet nurse? oh uh, what, what is a wet nurse <clears throat> uh, well a wet nurse is a woman who uh, basically breastfeeds somebody else's kid oh, weird. mm-hmm let's see we killed Parl. Um, like mm, yeah it's sort of like a nanny it's like a nanny with benefits. Okay, so we, um, let me think here. We, we got to do, oh yeah. I don't know if Jacob's hopping on tonight. Hopefully he will. I, uh, I feel bad because I, it seems like I keep having something come up every day and I want to play earlier and earlier. I even woke up early today. Oh, who's this cat? Oh, what's up, homie? He will shame himself no longer. That's right. Do you know why not? Because it's proud. Oh, is that the, uh, that's that guy. Or no, I mean, that's a different guy, isn't it? Hopefully this, uh, plus nine Kirk Hammer is going to do good. Albatross, ZZZ, what's up, man? You watch like eight videos at once. Oh, that's great, dude. I'm glad to hear that, man. That's that's fantastic to hear. Um, I um, <clears throat> I was actually just saying I'm sorry that I started the stream so late. Uh, my uh, Aurora, can you get the door? Uh, my daughter and I actually like got out of the house today, and um, we we went about like 30 35 miles north of where we're at because um one of my friends had been he, he'd been like aggravating me for months because uh he said that there's these real like cool comic book and video game collector stores in macon so um we went to go check them out today and wow they're awesome like they're really awesome like like the first store we went into had tons of uh like really vintage like uh collectible toys and action figures and stuff and then the second place we went into that was right next door it was like a vintage video game store and they had like you know ataris they had playstation ones they had a uh, sega genesis um they had uh, like every version of everything you can think of um, they had, um, they had all the games, like they had a whole wall of NES, Super NES, a whole wall of Wii games, racks and racks of Game Boy games, DS games. It, dude, it was crazy. Like we couldn't even believe when we walked in there. Um, yes. progressing quest lines without you. I would have lost money in there for sure. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how me and my daughter got in there and got out without spending any money. Um, Jackie, what's up, man? The piss is good. Am I at German yet? Uh, well, I'm going to try to do the DLC before I go to German. I could go to German. And yeah, he totally kicks ass. Um but yeah, man, like I and the their their games were different prices depending on like the quality too. So if it was like an NES cartridge and the um the sticker was a little fucked up, they would only charge you like twelve bucks for it. And they had them in these nice plastic cases where they took the uh, the box art. So they're they're nice like hard shell cases they put them in because uh, you know back in the day Nintendo games didn't come with anything good like that. Um, it, all we had back then were those little plastic shitty sleeves. If, if you were lucky, the old Nintendo games didn't even come with the sleeves. Oh, that's right. I got to fight these dicks up here. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, man, um, 
they had uh, Mario paint for literally like nine dollars, and I was like, I just kind of want to buy this just to have this. You know what I mean? Because uh, Mario Paint was one of the first Super Nintendo games I ever had, and I just I loved that game. It was so good, but. Yeah, it's one of them stores that when you go in there, you're just like, oh, uh, something deck. I forget what it was called. Um, shoot. Um, but anyway, it was it was this thing that I know that they sold like in the early 90s. And I can't even remember what it was for or anything. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is a, this is a serious ass store right here, man. Um, but the very second thing we saw was a Castlevania t-shirt just laying on a counter. They just had a, a stack of Castlevania shirts, and it said, like, um, Castlevania uh, 25th anniversary or 30th anniversary or something like that. I forget. And um, my daughter and I were both like, oh, shit, this is awesome, until we saw the price on the shirts. And I was like, I'm not paying $40 for a Castlevania shirt. No, I'm not doing that. Like... Like, dude, I, I went on one website. Dude, I, I know we do too, seriously. But, like, dude, I went on one website and I got this Elden Ring dog shirt for, like, 14 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, I think that they wanted, like, I think it was, like, 34 or $38 for a Castlevania shirt. And I'm like, look, I know this is probably, like, a... I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It looked like maybe it was, like, an official... Castlevania shirt or something, you know, maybe Konami licensed it, but dude, it's a t-shirt, man. I ain't pour, I ain't, I ain't pouring $40 into a shirt. I just can't do it. I can't. Like if Miyazaki himself came up to me and was like, Hey bro, I'll say this dark soul shirt for 40 bucks. I would, I would hope that it would have his autograph on it or something. You know what I mean? Um, but they did have another thing that was super fucking tight. And I'm going to see if I can find it online. If I can find a picture of this thing on... Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I took a picture of it at the store. And what it was, was it was a Castlevania pin, right? It was a Castlevania pin, and it had a little chain on it that had, like, the little end of the whip when it's upgraded. So it's like a little chain that you can bring across, like, your collar or something, I guess. And they wanted, I think, 25 bucks for that. And I was like, oh, God, I like this, but I don't want to spend $25 on this. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what, um, Albatross, have you, um, have you gotten on the Discord? Because if you're, if you're on the Discord, I'm going to post a picture of it. Like, I, uh, I was kind of thinking about just posting videos of all the stuff we saw today on the Discord anyway. Because it was just so much cool stuff. Oh, there you are, you sucker. Come here, you. It's bonking for you. Get down here. I want you to come down here so I can bonk you. About to give you the, the fire paper bonk. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Uh-uh. Oh, he attacks me so fast. Stop attacking me so fast. Give me some time to hit you. Dude, Jackie, I'm telling you, man. And here's here's the crazy thing. That was the game store we went into, right? The the store we went in before had like retro vintage toys and comics and stuff. A year's supply of white rice. <laughs> yes. I, I see. It's a very good point, Adam. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they, they really are. They hit so hard, man. God damn it. Stop it. You fucker! Get out of here! Oh, you did. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out where it's most appropriate to to post it. Maybe just in the general channel or something. I don't know. But um, the um, the the vintage toy store was amazing. They had all kinds of toys. Like I don't know if you guys remember when they used to have Simpsons action figures. You could go into a store and there was just hundreds of different action figures from the Simpsons cartoon. And they had these little, um, anything for a good game like Simon's Quest? Uh, the only Castlevania shit they had was just the, the, the Castlevania 1 Simon Belmont pin and, and just that shirt. Um, they didn't have, they didn't have a lot of merch in there. That store was really mostly just games. It was more games and consoles than anything. 
The closest thing they had to like collectible shit was um, a bunch of Skylanders crap and fucking um, amiibos. They had a bunch of amiibos uh, still in the box, and they had like precisely eight billion Skylanders out of the box. Um, they had like trash can fulls of Skylanders. <laughs> And they had um, also a, a big basket. It looked like a giant garbage can full of um, the Wii accessories, like the wheel you could put your remote in and, sh and the tennis racket and all that shit. They had all of that stuff. I think I took video of that, too, come to think of it. Um, yeah, dude. They, there was so much stuff in there, though. Like, game console-wise, it was ridiculous. Oh, dude, Jackie, that's fucking awesome, man. A Rose Tico figurine. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to go get Lawrence's skull, don't I? A Rose Tico. Hell, yeah. I think we all need that. We, we all need a Rose Tico figurine and shirt. All right, Basilisks, I'm ready to fight you, you peckers. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't these the guys that are supposed to drop the poison knives? Isn't that what somebody said? Somebody said the rats drop the knives? Um, uh, but yeah, so the gaming store was cool. I would have definitely liked to see more merchandise, collectible stuff, and shirts. That would have been cool. Like, I think that if they did... They would probably get some good business. Would love to say, would you get tired? We're definitely tuning in together. By the way, top two videos. Hey, Albatross, that's awesome, man. Um, <clears throat> I I understand, and, and again, I'm I'm sorry that I started late again. I'm I hate that I've turned this into a habit of being late on a stream, even when it's my day off from work. That really upsets me that I keep fucking up and doing that. Uh, but hey, man, I'm glad you are enjoying the top ten videos. I, um, I'm working on another one. I'm working on another one right now. And it's one that, um, I've kind of been planning for a minute. So, um, if you can't be on time, be early. That's what my mom always said. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about the new one. I had some issues, but it's fine. We can work through it. I've, I've been through worse. But, um, yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you like the videos, and I will hopefully get to see you again soon, man. And uh, have fun on the Discord. Everybody on there is really cool. It's going to be fun, man. It's going to be really fun. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I've, I've had to... Um, I've had some uh, delays with the new video, and I'm really pissed off about that. A wizard always streams on schedule. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's what I should remember too. If I had been um if I had been uh, smoking the the halfling's leaf, I probably would have remembered. Everyone's really cool except that one guy. Yeah, I was going to say that there was there was that one guy, but he left. I don't know. Do you remember that one guy that left? There was one guy that, that he had to go, and he went of his own volition. We didn't I ask him to leave. We just um, we just couldn't have him making people uncomfortable. Oh, I can buy sedatives. That's good. Fire paper, buy two of them. The beast's blood lettuce. Let's see. By 13 twins. Huh. Well, what was it? He made fun of you for liking DS2 more than Bloodborne? Okay, I think we're talking about a different guy then. I was, uh... Whoa, this thing scales A with strength. And this scales A with dex. Did you ever notice that? That's pretty sweet. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, the the guy I'm talking about did not even talk about video games. Like he would he would go on the streams and the Discord and just endlessly um be talking about uh Ren and Stimpy. You remember who I'm talking about now? <laughs> I don't know if you ever were on stream when he was on stream, but oh my god, dude, it was crazy. 
It was crazy. And um and and we can't forget the um the guy that uh Shit, I just clicked on that without even thinking about it. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to text um, <clears throat> Jacob and see if he's playing tonight. My little messengers have a pot on their head. There we go. All right. Now, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. I have to. Altar of Despair. Is that where Abritus was? It's got to be where we fought Abritus. Right? Okay, hold on. Oh, I know. He left the oven open, that asshole. <laughs> um. Oh, my gosh. Um. I'm trying to remember. Did I ever go get the, um. Did I, did I talk to Yosefka yet? Or fake Yosefka? I'm trying to remember, I don't think I did that yet. Oh, shit, dude. I just realized something I haven't mentioned yet. I found a Dark Souls comic book today. Bro Safka. Bro Safka. I forgot, because I hadn't gotten to that, that part yet. I, um,. After we uh, checked out the retro gaming store, we um, we went to the other store because the crazy thing is the 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 um, the vintage toy store is right next to. Yes, hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. Just to say, let me go get it. Let me go get it. Yes, it's crazy, right? Like I was excited because. Okay, so here's what happened. He told me that two of the stores are right next to each other, and then the other store, which is supposed to be like the big, awesome one, which it was a really nice comic book store, um, that one was on a different road, and it was only about a mile and a half away, which was pretty cool, but um, we went to that one last because it closed an hour later than the other two. So, um, <clears throat> we went in, and hold on, I'm going to go pick them up. I'm going to bring them over here. This is so cool. So when um, when we went in there, first I'll show you this. When we went into the um, the vintage toy store, I um, I was really surprised to see some of the stuff they had. Dude, they had toys like Mask, and they had like Star Trek: The Next Generation toys. I mean, these are. These are some old fucking toys, you know, and they're still in the boxes and shit. But then also, I started noticing their comic book section, and I actually grabbed a copy of this because this is one of the comics. See if I can turn it where y'all can see it. This is one of the comics that I had as a kid uh, before, you know, I, I sold all my comic books way back because I really needed the money. And um, I knew a guy who was willing to basically pay me, um, like, he he was willing to give me two dollars on the dollar for for my comics, and since we were kind of like really needing the money at the time, I sold them. And um, this Incredible Hulk four hundred was one of mine that I remember I had, so I bought it. And I, I, you you can probably tell, yeah, it's old. It's from the nineties, but this one's got like a foil kind of thing. I don't know if you can see it much when I'm moving it, but it's a foil cover, and um. <clears throat> yeah, this one is, um, 
Let me see, actually. Let me take it out of here. Oh, hey, Jacob. You're sick? Oh, shit. Well, I'm sorry you're sick, man. Seems like me and you have had a bad fucking month for that, haven't we? Wow, you can tell this comic book hasn't even been opened that much. Um, let me see here. Um, let's see. Boy, it sure smells like an old comic book, too. I'm trying to see if I can find the date on it. It's December 1992. December 1992. And the funny thing is, is I think I got this off of the shelf in a gas station, I think. When I, or at least when I bought my original copy. This one's in really good shape, too. Like, um, this guy's store has, uh, they had a lot of, um, like, omnibus collections and stuff in there, too. And uh, I love getting those trades that have uh, that kind of stuff. You know what's funny, though? They did have some really old comics in there, though, Adam. They, they, they had much older stuff. Um, I'm just... Um, I'm dude, I'm really nostalgic for the 80s and 90s. Uh maybe more so the 90s even because the 90s is when all of my main shit started coming out. You know what I mean? Like like the 90s was when I got into comic books. The 90s was when I got into Magic the Gathering. Um <clears throat> really and and even then like the 90s, I mean shit, that's when the Super Nintendo came out. Like that's when video games started getting fucking insane. Um, like, but, but, um, the other thing cool that I found, right, uh, while we were in there, when we went to the big fancy store, before I show you this Dark Souls comic, it's fucking amazing, when we went into the big fancy store, they have some of the preview things, so they had an IDW thing that's just showing some of the new, um, you know, IDW stuff, and apparently, um, the guy that owns the store said the, uh, this new... Um, Ninja Turtles and Usagi comic book is actually pretty good. And, I don't know, I... I like my dark Ninja Turtles. These shorts I'm seeing on YouTube of X-Men 97 and us. Oh, really? I haven't seen any of that shit yet. I know that we're, we're selling X-Men 97 at my store right now. And, um... I was thinking about buying that Cyclops. And, um... The Jean Grey one's flying off the shelf. And they got a Madeline Pryor that I think we still have a Madeline Pryor. Uh, but yeah, that's the IDW preview book. And then we got the DC preview book. And apparently they're doing some more Gotham by Gaslight, so that's cool. Oh yeah, I know, right? Dude, dude I'm going to tell you something, Jackie. I get so fucking excited when I see Rob Liefeld comics or Jim Lee comics and anything image comics from the 90s i just love it and 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 all the shit that those guys were doing um with marvel before like you know rob liefeld was drawing like x-force and um jim lee was doing like uncanny x-men and shit and i love it i love it and then jim lee did um i think he did he did iron man he did a bunch of stuff um and then the marvel dude the Marvel preview book is huge. Like, this thing, that is a ton of shit to be what's about to start coming out. The new X-Men show that's in the OG comic? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. I have not. Uh, Bulbasaur, what's up, man? Um, they got, um, oh my god, a Ghost Rider 2099 omnibus. That's the other thing. You remember the 2099 shit? Check this out. They had the X Men 2099 number one in the vintage toy store. They did not have Spider Man 2099, which makes me sad because that was the first one I bought. Um, okay, so here we go. The first thing I saw in the big comic book store was this a fucking garbage pail comic. Yeah, 2099, it, it, it does suck. But I'm nostalgic for it because I remember when it came out and I was like, I don't know, Spider-Man 2099 looks kind of cool. You seeing how Ryan Gosling... Hold on, I missed it. So here's the Garbage Pail comic. This thing came in a bag and I'm debating on whether or not to open it. It came with a like a, a little trading card that just looks like the cover of the comic. But uh, I love Garbage Pail Kids and this is all new shit too. This is stuff off the new rack. Fucks, not suck. I like 2099. Oh, okay, okay. Well, now, I'm going to tell you, I didn't read all the 2099. The only ones I read was Spider-Man, 
because I was so poor, I didn't get to read everything. But um, I think I had heard people say that, that they didn't like some of them. But I, I liked Spider-Man 2099. I thought it was cool. Uh, I didn't read X-Men or Hulk. Oh, and Doom 2099. I always wanted to read Doom 2099. Because I love fucking Doctor Doom. And I love reading Doctor Doom comics. Bow, chicka bow wow. Anyway, here's what we're... Look at this. Look at this shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, we're, we're looking at the new comic book rack. And I see this, and I like slapped my daughter, and I was like, dude, dude, dude. And she was like, what? What? God damn it. Like, she was just like, what are you, stop hitting me. And I was like, look. And I was like pointing at it, and I couldn't even talk. I just kept pointing at this book. But what's awesome is, at this comic book store, this guy puts a board and a bag on every comic you buy. And this Dark Souls comic, it's called The Willow King. And um, I, it says it says suggested for mature readers, so it's going to be fun. Maybe we should do a stream where I go over this comic book. Um, but it was $3.99. Does it look like, uh, does it look like Berserk? Uh, I just kind of thumbed through it a little bit. And it... I know I was dude, I was about to explode in the store. Um it it doesn't look like Berserk's art style, but it does have kind of a um impressionistic well fuck it, dude, hold on. Let me just take it out of the bag. It it does have sort of like a sort of that um not super realistic style to it. Hold on, let's see here. SR, what's up, man? Oh my god. Dude, I showed my daughter the look here, look, listen today because she didn't know what I was talking about. And I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, to me, the art of this Dark Souls comic book, it kind of reminds me of um, like 90s era Batman art. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's nice looking. Um, it's, it's like really, I mean, it's really dark. Uh, this is issue number two. I'm really pissed off that I didn't get issue number one. Now I'm gonna have to find it. Um, but uh, this really reminds me of like 90s Batman comics. Like it, it just gives me, um, <laughs> what build are they running? Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> I need to find out. Is it new? Yeah, it's new, dude. It says, um, does it have the month on it? It doesn't even say. It's produced by Titan Comics, and uh, yeah, it doesn't say what month it is. Which uh, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me let me look in the front. Maybe they're just they don't do that anymore. They used to put the month on the front back in the day. Um, yeah, I actually thought by looking at the thickness of the pages and the way the cover was, I thought it was a dark uh, dark horse comic. But uh, yeah, it's Titan Comics. Um, Titan did the Bloodborne ones too. Oh, really? Okay, this is the February issue because it says next issue goes on sale in March. So I am um, I am wondering if um, this one is just one that did not sell during the month of February, and I just got lucky because this was the only comic they had. Um, but. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I I'm like uh, the art. The art looks wait. Oh, dude, wait a minute. All the words are gone. Do you see that? Do you see that? You can't see the words. Can you read the words? How does that? If I take a picture with my phone, does it do that? Look in the trash cans after the first month for March issue. Why is it that the words aren't showing up on camera? Do you see this? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, they're showing up on camera when I take a picture with my phone. That's bizarre. Um, that's really fucking weird. I wonder what's up with that. It's It's got to be some kind of fucking evil Gwen magic or something. I don't know. Something's going on here. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, I, um... I, I want to try to figure out a way to um to do something 
with it because, um, you know, because it's Dark Souls, you know. But I know that, that a lot of channels that do talk about comic book stuff, they have like very specific, um, you know, things that they do. Like they remove the text because apparently they can get copyright claims on them or something. That could have gone to some eight-year-old to beg his parents for It's going to be sick and miserable for a little bit. You'll check in in a bit. Okay, Jacob. Um, yeah, I'm sorry you're sick, man. That fucking sucks, dude. I don't know, man. I don't think any eight-year-old's going to look at this and think, hey, that looks great. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, you know what's crazy, though, man, is like, I, I love looking at the new comic book rack. I don't know, man. I, I just love comic books in general. But, like, um, I love looking at uh, the old the old comics like they had dude they had tons of old shit for like a dollar just old comics they even had graded shit in this store that's how you know it's a real comic book store they had graded comic books they had the um speaking of this i noticed they had the very first issue what dark soul game is it based on i don't i don't think it's going to be based on a game to be honest with you i mean i'm going to i'm going to read it and I'm going to try my damnedest to figure out how to make a video talking about it because uh, I, I just want to. But, um, yeah, I, I really don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's based on anything specifically. But, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out when I get around to reading it. Um, there's one thing I remember about comic books when I used to buy them all the time was that um, it is absurdly easy to read through a comic book so usually i read through comic books multiple times when i buy them anyway because they're so short that's why a lot of times i just like to buy the omnibus um oh that's another thing i i actually found um the dark souls 2 comic <laughs> yeah it said number two and it was all about dark souls 2 <laughs> it was just like eight thousand enemies running at one guy in a tiny room and he couldn't do anything about it. Um, yeah, she's still alive. Okay. Somebody was saying she might be dead. Return to Hunter's Dream. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, um, I just always have been big on just like rereading them. Usually, usually I read it once and stick it back in the bag. Um, but... I don't know. I just, you know, it's like I've been wanting to do... Hey, Jay, how are you? It's like I, I've been wanting to do, um, you know, more comic... I've want, I've been wanting to do some comic book stuff on the channel anyway. And, and honestly, man, since my buddy had been telling me that there's all these awesome stores in Macon, I'm like, well, that's, that's not a really short drive. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, I, and that's another thing, man, is like, it's really cool because my daughter is really interested in it. Um, my daughter actually bought the Batman Who Laughs, and she bought like the entire um, collection so she can read the whole story front to back. And I just kind of suggested to her that that's a good way to do that. Um, I'm really excited about it, man. I really am. Like, I hate uh, that I've had problems working on the new Dark Souls or the new FromSoft video but um, I'm still I'm still gonna do that comic book shit because I'm very passionate about it and uh, I'll, I'll say this dude this is another thing I'm kind of excited about is um, my daughter wants to talk about it like she's really getting in, in there looking at that stuff dude she was just like I want this I want this and I want this and I want this and I was like I'll be honest with you I'm pretty excited that you're actually into something that's cool and it's not you know some kind of um, some kind of shit. Try reading Immortal Hulk from start to finish. Bit of horror vibe. Oh yeah, Immortal Hulk. I haven't uh, I haven't heard of that. I um. But speaking of Hulk, um, <clears throat> I was actually I was actually giving my daughter a um, an Incredible Hulk spiel on the way home because uh, I uh, I really I really like Hulk. Hulk, Hulk's an awesome character and his comics are fantastic and it just farms skibbity videos and dive never even interacted with 
Yeah, well, you know, and that's the funny thing is like I, I hate to say it, but it's like reading comic books. Um, <clears throat> it's like there's times where reading a comic book is a lot more rewarding than watching a movie or a TV show, um, because it's like they don't make comic book movies on the level of comic books, and it's just sad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, y'all. T- yo, so you've read Immortal Hulk too? See, I haven't read that. Um, I was telling uh, somebody at my job the other day about World War Hulk, and um, I was explaining to them that um, Thor Ragnarok kind of takes a couple ideas from World War Hulk and um, Planet Hulk, but doesn't really. Well, actually, it mostly takes from Planet Hulk. And, and it's weird because it's like they took the most basic thing from Planet Hulk and just stuck it in a Thor movie. And I was like, you know, the problem is Thor and Hulk going on a weird fucked up space adventure would have been a cool movie if y'all could have done that. But they had to make it a stupid ass Marvel movie, di- a stupid Disney Marvel movie that doesn't have anything awesome really in it except for Jeff Goldblum being funny and World War Hulk I was telling this guy I was like dude let me tell you something when I I remember reading Planet Hulk when it came out and um, when I found out that World War Hulk was going to be like the sequel I was like jeez this is going to be the fucking this is going to be the event of the year and it was It was like a major crossover between the entire Marvel Universe. Why are you in the area where you did your best Mr. Hands impression? Because I never grabbed all the shit that was in here. There's a bunch of shit in here and I never grabbed it because when we were doing Jolly Cooperation, my Jolly Cooperators didn't want to run in here in the the fucking uh, period cave with me. But look, there's Amygdala and Arm. I got it. I got some more Bloodstone shards. Look at me, I can roll around. Just roll around in the period, dude. It's cool. Look at this, another chunk. Like, that's worth rolling around in the period for. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, um, I, I've, I've, got some, I've got some ideas about um, doing comic book content on the channel that I think they're not, you're right, they're not real items. <laughs> it's fake news. Hey, Aaron. Um, and and I think I think I'm gonna be able to, I think I'm gonna be able to have a lot of fun doing comic book shit, um, because most of the comic book channels that I actually like are generally the guys that just go over the storylines, because it's almost like I'm just listening to an audiobook, and I don't see any guys that are really doing the kind of content that I want to watch a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like the main thing I would want to watch for a comic book YouTube channel, I don't really see it. So, I'm I've got my fingers crossed that maybe it'll be similar to like what happened when I started doing Dark Souls videos, where you know I'll be able to kind of fill a void on YouTube where I'm doing something the way I want to do it because I want to see this, and maybe other people will enjoy it too. Because, I mean. It, it sucks, like, when, when you know your friends who like to read books, and they're all like, huh, that movie's stupid, the book was so much better. It's like, yeah, but it's really like that with comics, you know? Because with comic books, they're infinitely better than any of the movies that are based on the comic books. Like, like if you know, if you know like, the people that, that they say they like superheroes, but they all they really like is, like, Batman and Spider-Man and shit, it's like, dude, those are the... Those are the superheroes that even people who don't like superheroes like. But, um, you know, if you, if you read comics, you'll be like, oh, oh, Daredevil is fucking awesome. I had no idea. But it's like, yeah, if, if you read a comic book, you will find this shit out. Even better than Thor 2, the best movie ever made. <laughs> the legendary Thor 2. Directed by Stanley Kubrick. (laughs) 
I, I, I really don't think I hated Thor 2 as much as everybody else did, but it's pretty damn boring considering how awesome Thor comic books are. Like, it's pretty boring. I, um... I'm trying to figure out where to go fight those fucking idiots, and I don't remember how to get there. The bad guy almost won in Thor 2. You know what's funny, dude? I don't remember hardly anything about Thor 2. <laughs> I remember that Natalie Portman... Didn't Natalie Portman have some kind of weird blood shit in her? And then um, Loki was, like, pretending to be Odin the whole movie. And... Uh... Weren't they, like, fighting the Dark Elves or something in that movie? Like, I don't remember anything that really happened in it. Like, I, I really don't. I, um... I guess that... I guess that is one thing to say. I, uh... I, I do at least remember what happened in Thor Ragnarok. It just wasn't, um... It wasn't super-duper exciting after, um... Jeff Goldblum left the movie. There was a guy and he wanted to destroy anything and almost got away with it. That sucks. <laughs> you know what? No, you know what really sucks? Um, I heard that um, in the, um, the fourth Thor movie that it's just like a straight up comedy, but um, I... Um, I heard that Gore, the God Butcher, is in the movie. Except he doesn't look like a monster. He just looks like Christian Bale. And um, that kind of sucks because uh, uh, if, if you've read the comic book, uh, Gore, the Gore storyline, it's like Seven, but with Thor. And it is... It is ultra fucking badass because it's a guy who is go he's a monster man basically and he goes around murdering every god that he can find in like the whole universe and I don't even remember how he was going about doing it but he I want to say he got like some kind of special book or something that like helped him travel to other dimensions and stuff and like Thor would show up in a place and all the gods that lived there were dead and um like there was one where i want to say the god was like this giant whale thing or something and it was just like laying there like rotting on the ground when he showed up and thor was like oh boy this is this guy does not fuck around and then and then he goes to a planet where like there's a whole pantheon of gods and they're all like disemboweled and hanging from the ceiling and shit. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It's it's like, it, and and they do this weird thing where they um they have Gore um and Thor kind of running into each other in in different times, and they have like a part where they like fast forward and it's like the end of time and all the gods are dead except for Thor. And he's still trying to fight Gore, and it, and then there's parts where it's like, you know, thousands of years ago, and they're doing it again. It's just, it's a wild story, man. But it would have made the most badass fucking movie. Hold on, I gotta read. I gotta read your comment. <clears throat> Let me see here. <laughs> Come on, knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. What's going on here? Thought I had the chat pulled up. Bet you could make a movie that, but have it be a comedy. Exactly. I heard, dude. I heard the the um. I heard that the Love and Thunder movie was like Taika Waititi just wanted to make it silly and I just I don't understand why Disney wants to make everything and it's not even a comedy you know what I mean it's like it's just like a very basic ass movie with tons of bad sitcom jokes 
It's it's a Jeremy Johns video with Thor in it. And I just don't understand. Why are people still paying to go watch this shit? I really hope James Gunn doesn't do that with the DC movies. I really I really have got my fingers crossed that we're gonna get um we're gonna get better. And adapt for cancer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh actually that's what the movie's about, isn't it? Isn't it about her having cancer? How much money do you think they had to give Natalie Portman to come back to Marvel? Because I'm assuming she didn't have a super great time doing those first two Thor movies. I couldn't see how anybody would. Let me see here. I'm trying to figure out... Um... Because I don't remember how to get this fucking boss. Lumenwood Gardens. Didn't I already unlock that? Am I crazy? Get out of the way. Oh, Lumen Flower Gardens. The Research Hall. Shit, how do you get to the Research Hall? I don't remember. Isn't Bloodborne fun? Head to laboratory 4-4 four, four by using the shortcut in laboratory 5. They could prod Padme back. <laughs> Dude, how fucking dope would that have been? If it Padme was the bad guy of the sequel franchise. Oh my god, I would have paid to see that. I would have paid to go to that movie, man. The path in the underground corpse pile. Oh, that's right. So I was going the right way. I just don't remember how to open that path. Once you go up the stairs, you'll notice there's a large pool of gray stuff. Poison in the middle of the room, a large staircase in the middle of the ground. Is where you killed your bloodstone chunks, brain patients, searching for... No. No. God damn it. What do I put? What do I put on the thing? Um... Does anybody know? Oh my god. It says that I'm 10 hours and 28 minutes away from some place called Research Hall in Fairfax, Virginia, you guys. We can get there in only 10 and a half hours. Open the locked door on the left. Let's see if this tells me. Because I don't remember. Um... Hitting down the corridor, probably in the rooms, one of which has a fist of gradia. Okay. Insert the eye pendant to create an elevator. Okay, so now I have to Google where the fuck is the eye pendant, because I apparently don't have it. I thought I did. Eye pendant. Listen here, you. Tell me where it is. If you drive a Tesla, you can be there in 14. <laughs> Alright, is that all? Do they not take longer than that? I figured that they were even worse than that. Hey. Hey. I need Google Glass one. You got YouTube Glass one? Can I get Google Classroom? Can you get Cool Classroom? Google. Google Classroom? Yeah. What the heck is that? It's where I can access, where I can access my school and grow Okay. Sure. I guess. On the laptop. Okay. Alright. From a sword like key that one must insert into a living log by a McGrew Mexican, this is a part of a Mustang, which kind of serves to get you sort of your creative industry, the epic name, my opinion, and we use the activated lift. Where to find I pinned it? Hunter's Nightmare. Wait a minute. I thought I already did this. Are you telling me that I forgot to grab that? I thought I got that. Hold on. Let's go back. Come on, knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. Could this be a dog? Three's company, too. 
I'm so sad that I gotta do this shit again. Dag Nabbit. All right. So we're going to go to the room with, um, what is it? The, like the Vicar Amelia room. And <clears throat> I'm assuming the key is in there. I think, I think that's what we're going to get. I swear, dude, this game has so many bosses that it just does not want you to fight. It's, it's like not even just that. It's like the game, like I completely forgot where that was at. And I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I found it sort of by accident this time. Hey, Cthulhu. How's it going? Gotta wait on this dick to open this dough. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh my gosh, look, he's so mad he's murdering all of his buddies to just to get to me. Give me them bullets. Thanks. Oh my god, Cthulhu monster, man. Agent Carter. Oh, really? Are you Are you enjoying it? I just forgot that I have to run all the way up here. I completely forgot about this. Because I went to the door. God dang it, look at that. It was all the way over here. See my brother in armor smash you. What? <laughs> You're right. That is not a um, that is not a good way to sit on a throne. On a throne, you do that every time. It's 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 funny though. You know when you think about it, because it's like that's sort of a um, that's sort of a cryptic uh, thing. Is the fact that to get to the woods, you have to only three episodes left. Wow. You know, to get to the woods, it's like you have to go down there. And, um, oh yeah, that's right, I don't know how to get to that item. Maybe I can get this one before this man kills me. Thank you, bullets, that's so useful. That's the most useful thing ever. I'm fucking dead, fuck it. Just come on, kill me, you shits. Why do y'all suck so bad? Y'all can't kill me? Like, for real? I'm not even doing that good. I'm kind of shitty. Give me that madman's knowledge. Get off me, you wet, skinless dogs. You know you guys don't got skin. Hey, you guys ever seen that Simpsons Halloween episode where they get turned inside out at the end? That's awesome. Hello, guys. I just need these blood vials. Not really, but I'm going to take them. Three's company, too. I love how that hunter is just going around hunting. Or hunting. I should say. Hoont, as it were. <clears throat> I mean, that dude is hunting so hard that he's even trying to hunt me. Port him to the local Korean restaurant, yeah. Uh, yes, I, I have seen that Invader Zim episode. Um, it's pretty funny. I like when he's sitting there and he's like super fat because he's got all the organs in his body and then he has um, like the intestines like coming out of his mouth while he's trying to talk. That uh, really cracks me up. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I think it's funny though because uh, I've heard people say that um, Invader Zim got canceled because of episodes like that but it, but it actually got canceled because it was so fucking expensive. Like, Invader Zim costs so much more than Spongebob did to make. Uh, but the difference is, Invader Zim wasn't doing numbers like Spongebob was. And, I don't know if you're aware of this, but apparently on Nickelodeon, if your show does not do Spongebob numbers, then they're going to cancel you anyway. 
hottest characters in gaming, but it's like old Demon King Rikard. Oh, that's a good idea, weird Eurasian boy. I think I might need to might need to make that a thing. Yeah, Invader Zim was awesome, dude. In Invader Zim is is top tier Nickelodeon shit. Thumbnail some hot girl. Oh yeah. Oh, or even better. What if it's like old Demon King, but we put him on like a hot girl's body? You would have loved to watch me play Dogma. Oh, it's all good, man. No worries. I hope you feel better. Uh, I haven't really watched uh, Billy and Mandy that much. Um, in fact, Invader Zim actually was like way after my time. The the only reason I even am aware of Invader Zim was because I um, I found the DVDs at Hot Topic in the like early two thousands, and um, I guess this was like when Invader Zim just first started developing a um, what do you call it a um, like a cult kind of culture and um, they had tons of Invader Zim like stuff at Hot Topic like Hot Topic went all in with Invader Zim merchandise after it got canceled and uh, yeah Courage was a good show I like that <clears throat> Hot Topic was a god among men <laughs> that makes sense and I I agree. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, Invader Zim was one of them shows that I, I quit watching Nickelodeon before it came out, so I didn't know that they actually made anything good um, at that point. But I'm going to tell you the number one show that Nickelodeon has produced that I want to try to watch is Mr. Meaty. Holy fuck. Have you guys seen this show? If you search for it on YouTube, you're just gonna the Barber episode. Yeah, that one's good. Uh, if you if you search for Mr. Meaty on YouTube, it's 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 gonna be some clips, but mostly it's just gonna be like people talking about him. Grimm's voice actor is one of the major antagonists of Saints Row Two. Oh, Saints Row Two was amazing. Um, yeah, I think with Mr. Meaty, they they actually uh, yeah. Mr. Meaty, they had... Yeah, it's puppets. Yeah, it's it's puppet show. Um, yeah, with uh, with that show, they... Um, they they canceled it because it was, it was upsetting too many people. Um, the thing about Mr. Meaty, though, is... Um, th they said that the vegetarians were protesting the show. And it was bringing all this, like, negative heat... Or, or it was bringing all this like negative press to Nickelodeon. Yeah, everybody always talks about the tapeworm episode, but uh, I'll be honest with you, every episode looks like a nightmare to me because the puppets are so fucking creepy looking and ugly. Like I've never seen puppets that look that ugly and disturbing. You know, um, if you uh, if you watch a regular production with puppets like the Labyrinth or something. The puppets just look like puppets, you know. And on Mr. Meaty, they kind of was in a way. It was it was sort of hashtag canceled because apparently vegetarians were protesting Nickelodeon because on Mr. Meaty, it's like a show about these two guys that work at a at a um, a food service restaurant or whatever, a food restaurant, whatever, a restaurant in a mall, a mall restaurant, and um. Uh, a mall food distribution center and they um they would eat the most disgusting looking meat and it was nothing but meat yeah veggie tales is great um if you ever watch um what's the channel name there's a channel there's a guy who loves veggie tales and he makes he makes lots of videos about um cartoons and um Oh man, what's it called? It's called Media Mementos. And I found this guy because he made like a two hour fucking video talking about one of my favorite shows ever, Moral Oral. And, um, Jennifer Connolly puppet. Oh yeah, that one was good. You can get hit by a random soldier and make a house. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. 
There's a, um, what you call it? There's like a thing. You gotta jump off, right? Where is it? Is it here? Where is it? Where do I jump? There's a place where you jump off. It's on the other side, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not it. You got to do this, don't you? Aha, there it's it. Whee! <clears throat> There's Lawrence's skull. Yeah, Mr. Meaty, dude, like, um, when I watched, um, I was watching a show where they were talking about Mr. Meaty, and... Oh my god, dude. It is like the ugliest puppets. Like even on the show when um they try to act like one of the girls on the show is like hot, she looks like nightmare fuel. Like they're so ugly. They're all so ugly. Like they have these crazy like you know, uh I don't even know how you describe the eyes. Maybe if I was looking at them, I could come up with, like, some better descriptions of this, but they all look terrible. Like, they're the most hideous-looking fucking puppets I've ever seen. You want to know who made it? It was made by the guys who made Nanolan. Have you ever heard of Nanolan? Methany. Paul Metheny. Can play a bunch of Dragon Drama 2 tomorrow. Nice. Wallace from Wallace and Gromit scares you. Something about his look makes you uneasy. Oh, really? Do you not like his, like, his big wide mouth? Like, hello, Gromit. Okay. Okay, Gromit. Lovely cheese. I like Wallace and Gromit, man. Wallace and Gromit's fucking goaded. It scared you too? Oh wow. I am I am guessing I am in the um I am in the minority here. Uh my daughter and I love uh, Wallace and Gromit. I remember when she was a little baby. She was just loving that shit. You rescued a little boy from getting eaten by wolves? Oh my god. Oh, not in reality. Okay. I see. There's an item right there. Uh-uh. Don't hit me. Uh-uh. Madman's knowledge. Somebody busted the fish tank. You little shites. Open the door. Okay. Lovely cheese. <laughs> Device is not currently operable. Yeah. Elevator time. Elevator time, y'all. What? Hmm. You know, I was just thinking about something. Um, the whole time that we have been doing co-op on this game, we have not run into a single player using the return password. Okay, Cthulhu, I um, I totally understand, man. Um, a friend of mine wants to call up Destiny Witch Queen after that. They're probably going to go back to Red Dead 2. Oh! You just reminded me something. Um, <clears throat> so, I got some notifications today on the PlayStation app, and Death Stranding went down to 20 bucks today. Happy Bunny Shit Eggs Day to you too. So, Death Stranding went down to 20 bucks, and I don't know if you guys are interested in that game or not, but I figured I'd ask. But also, I bought a game that went on sale for three bucks. I just went ahead and bought it because I know I want to play it. And 
I'll be honest with you, I don't know anybody who doesn't want to see this game. Um, I don't know if I should tell y'all what it is, though. I kind of want to make it a surprise because it's a fucking awesome game. I'll give you a hint. It's a Tim Schafer game. So that right there should get you excited. I know I'm fucking excited. Um, well, yeah, that's the thing, man, is like I've heard it's a walking simulator, and I don't know. It's Duke Nukem, you're right. I don't know if I want to. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to play Death Stranding yet or not. I already have a bunch of other shit that I'm doing anyway. But um, because you don't need to be high to come around Death Stranding narrative. Oh, I don't know. Um, sexual harassment, panda. Oh, Lady Maria, oh, please. I'm not safe. Time for execution, Kaplawi. Give me that brain fluid, you haul it. Give it to me. Um, that's right. Um, I don't know, man. I, um, I see, the thing is, I've been mostly interested in... Death Stranding because it's Kojima. You know what I mean? Like, I've I've seen a little bit of the game and it looks really weird. And I like Kojima's weirdness. I mean, I like weirdness in general. Discover the chime of a small resonant bell. Look at that. Look at that. I took off the password and I finally got a summon. Oh, and I just fell off this fucking thing and died right when I got a summon. Yes. Thank you, Bloodborne. Nothing makes me hornier than dying when I finally get help. That's the best. I love it. It's great. Let's not forget I wasted a insight for the win. Sexual harassment pound and Sexual harassment pound you ever notice this game takes so much longer to load when you died? Like, if I was just quick traveling, it wouldn't even been a big deal. Oh. Oh, no inside was consumed. Well, that's good. I see why it has to load so much now. It, it had to put me all the way back here. Because it's not on PC. Yep, that's right. If they just put the game on PC like they should have done, like 10 years ago, we would have been good to go. Um, yeah, I want to play two. I've got to finish one first. And um, I'll be honest with you, man, since Jacob is too sick to play... I'm, I, I kind of wish I had, um, <clears throat> kind of wish I had just started streaming that tonight, but, you know, what do you do? Okay, so I'm on here. I gotta fix this. Go back up. Trying to think, um, do you, um, you think I should probably fight Lawrence, like, next to last, maybe? Yeah, I thought about doing that. I downloaded it. Um, it, it because it's, um, because it's so late already, I probably don't need to try to jump onto another game because I'd hate to just... <laughs> You know, stream for like a few minutes and then get on to another thing. Fight him now, put in Henrik's set. Do I have that? I don't think I have that. Is that all fire resistance? Ah. Oh, Khajiit. Did you, are you, um, are you cosplaying? Um, look at that. I forgot to light that lantern. I, for some reason, I guess I didn't think I was going to die here. I usually don't die that much in this area. Chat, one for Lawrence, two for postpone. Oh my god. Isn't he isn't he gonna kill me in like two seconds? 
Kaplow. Another chunk. Locked. Oh shit, so I gotta go fight Lawrence now. Alright. <clears throat> okay, the mob rules, you're a furry. Oh, she didn't ask me for brain, brain fluid already? Alright, can you make polls on YouTube Live? Can't you make polls on YouTube Live? Uh, well, you know what? The problem is, this is on the PlayStation. So, um, if I was doing this on, like, just the phone or on my computer, I think maybe I could. Um, so, yeah, I think, um, I think I think I could if I was doing like that. I'm 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 gonna try doing something like that at some point though. Um, like um, maybe I don't. Uh, well, I know to do it through my computer, I'm gonna have to get a capture card. That's gonna be number one. Is I, I still have to buy a capture card. Um, but uh, I still I still need. Um, no twos, so I guess it's time for Flame Boy. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Moz can do it on Twitch, but don't think I can here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I had never tried doing it because um, I, I would have to do um, what do you call it? Um, why is this elevator not open? I thought that was the one you needed. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go fight Lawrence because I don't even know how to get to the fucking next section of this level. Thought you were top tier. Oh god! Look at that. I didn't kill myself. <clears throat> I thought I thought I was gonna die. Oh, and there's the rat again. Shit! Stop! Stop chasing me! I'm trying to read chat. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read chat. And this fucking rat keeps dodging my hammer. Oh, and I did it again, you guys. Look, I did it again. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, game. It's fine, I'm fighting Lawrence anyway, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pull up chat so I can see what you said. Thought you were top tier. I sure am, watch me. I'm about to be so top tier. I'm about to be top. I'm about to be top of the pops. Um. All right, let me think. Return to Hunter's Dream. Um, but yeah, you, one one thing I was thinking about doing is, um, yeah, I'm gonna go kick his ass. It's gonna be first try. Um, <clears throat> one thing I've thought about trying to do is um, try doing the YouTube live. Um, you know where you um, you just you just like just doing it through my phone, you know, and just see how it works. Kick his ass, C bass. You know that's funny. You wrote it out as the letter C, and when I was a kid, I always thought of it as the letter C too. Um, and it never occurred to me when I was a kid that his name is C bass, like fucking S E A bass. And I don't know why. I I'm assuming when I was a little kid, I knew that a sea bass was a type of fish. But uh, I remember hearing it, and I always put the letter C. I always thought it was kick his ass, C bass, like C. Given how many people have Elden as their first game, forcing to run back to a DS club, boss of my get affected, Michael Zaki. Hey. hey. Do you think you would be fine if like there was just like a single game on laptop? I tell you what. How about how about you do me a favor? Don't download any games on the laptop until um, I get the new video recorded. Because, like I said, I have to reshoot the whole video because all that footage, like, got lost. Well, not lost. It all got it all got deleted, but it wasn't working in the editor anyway. <clears throat> I don't know why. 
uh, somebody said that maybe I should have just updated the app, but I've never seen it do that before. Hold on. So, when you get that video done, are you saying like, like, I'm trying to find the right word. Um, I didn't realize you could summon somebody for Lawrence. That's kind of cool. Like, you trying to just like, Oh, it's Valter. Like a family laptop after that? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we don't need any fire weapons. Fire's not going to help us. Um, I, I am in need with a laptop. Blood of Ariana. I guess we can get that. All right, let's see. What do we got here? I bought a new game today. Ooh, which one? I'm not telling you what it is. Oh. Because um, I don't want to spoil it for everybody on the stream. It's going to be fun, though. Can you at least whisper it in my ear? I'm not going to whisper it in your ear. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you see this microphone in front of me? Oh, yeah. That's a condenser mic. Well, what if you mute it? What if I mute it? Yeah. What if I yeet it? Can I yeet it? <laughs> Do it. Look here. Look, Wes. Just yeet the microphone. <laughs> Well, I was hoping we were going to get another summon, but I guess we're just going to use Valter. You ready, Clive? Yeah. Here we go, you son of a bitches. Oh, who's that? Whoa. That is Lawrence. The first vicar ever. I was about to ever. Look at the way he's laying on that chair. I was about to say, what is that? It's Lawrence. Yeah. Oh, it's the only thing you know from Wings? Okay, weird Eurasian boy, here's what you need to do, friend. You need to take the time to pull... He's amazing. In fact, uh, yeah, he's funny. Like, he's so funny that if he was coming up with this shit on his own, I would say he is a comedy fucking genius. Um, I, I actually have been kind of thinking... I wonder if I could do shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, like intentionally do it. It would be kind of like a Tim Heidecker sort of thing. Just, just make it like it's real. You know what I mean? It's just like I'm actually getting that mad. Oh my God! You know what the one of the funniest quotes, speaking of banning, is, is that that one where he said, "Anybody that tries to give me advice gets banned." And I think, I think he was talking about advice in his life, not even in the game. It was somebody trying to give him advice about something. And he was like, next person that gives me advice gets banned. And I was like, you ban fuckers from your chat or from your channel or whatever for giving you advice? Do you, how do you keep people in your chat? That's so funny, dude. I, could, I can't deal with this guy. Captain Friend Zone away! You'd advise against that. Oh, oh, you'd advise against um, banning people from your chat for giving you advice? I think that the idea of just saying it is hilarious. If I don't get 10 gifted, I'm going offline. Did he say that? Oh, you just reminded me of something else. Hold on. Oh my God, you just reminded me of something else. So, do you remember um, when he would get on there and he would say like, "I've got to get 50 subscribers today," or something like that? And um, he would he would say he would say like uh, he would he would get on there and he'd be like complaining about how many subscribers he lost that day and shit. And I don't know how he loses subscribers. Honestly, how does he lose them? I mean, he's the most legendary man ever. Like, I can't imagine for the life of me. Somebody, oh yeah, and he, he smashes that controller. Yeah, maybe that's how he loses him. He just, he just, um, yeah. Bone marrow ash. Let's use it. I'm going to try this shit out. Oh, 
Oh, I missed with the cannon? Are you serious? That sucks. That is sucky, man. I hate that I can't I can't shoot the cannon but twice in a single boss fight. That kind of sucks. Valter's just like dancing in the lava like we're playing Elden Ring over here. I love that. Oh my god, Lawrence. Don't kill me with your fire magic. You little son of a bitch. He seemed a different guy in the build-up of the boogie fight. I wonder if it's an act. Well, I don't know. He may have matured a little bit. Because, I mean, dude, he's been doing this shit for, like, what is it, 10 years or something? Or longer? Like, I mean, he's been acting like a fool for so long. Oh, he... Okay, I shouldn't have done a charged R2. I thought a charged R2 would have been kind of a cool idea, but apparently not. Okay, I'm trying to move. I'm stepping in lava. Trying to move. I'm stepping in lava. Let's get away from that shit. Oh. I'm, I've been playing Elden Ring. I'm not used to lava actually hurting me anymore. It's so unnatural and weird to be hurt by lava. You ever notice that every time you get a summon in one of these games, they always die at the very end? I kind of feel like, oh my god, are you trying to one-shot me, you bastard? It's really not, dude. Lava's pretty normal. I mean, it's like... If you've ever gone to, like, a volcano, you can just jump right in the damn things. Look at that. I almost had him on the first try. And I could not get away to heal. And I stepped in the lava. And I almost had him on the first try. I can't believe I almost got him on the first try. That's pretty crazy. I was just joking. Maybe I am the best Bloodborne player ever. Is that possible? Oh, I gotta fill up my health again. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Now time to die without even hitting them. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna I'm gonna die until it's time to go to sleep. This is gonna be great. Time to die until it's time to go to sleep. Let's see. This one? Nope. Is it this one? Yep, it is. I probably should have changed my armor too. Hmm? You got a new hoodie? Oh, from your grandma? Yeah. Yeah. How much HP? I think I got it at 50. Is it 50? I forget. I got it at something. <clears throat> Let's go look. 57. So you, have you finished the main game now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing the DLC now. I almost killed Lawrence on the first try, but I didn't. I was like one hit away, which is what happens when you play these games. Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah. Um, just, um, <clears throat> which boss in the DLC have you killed? Uh, I've, I've killed um, Ludwig. And I think that's it. Okay, so we want to go. Well, I guess we have to run back to Lawrence, don't we? So I guess Hunter's Nightmare, is that where you want to summon? Um, uh, friend zone, do you have the password still put on? Let me, let me know if you put the password in still.
You did? Okay. Well, let me put it in because uh, I took mine off. And I, and I actually did um, get a summon with the password off, which is funny. So I figured that was going to happen because we've been playing this whole time. Shouldn't you save Lawrence for later? He's tankier than Orphan. Tankier than Orphan? Oh, no. This boss is way easier than Orphan. Dude, I almost just killed him on my first try. I've never killed Orphan on my first try. I don't even think I've ever killed Orphan on my fucking 10th try. Or my 20th try. <laughs> this boss is way easier than Orphan is. Or Orphan is like the one boss in this game that um, if I have a bad build, I'll just say fuck it and end the game. Because uh, sometimes it's just not worth it to fight that bitch. You did them on your second? Wow. Now, I will say this. It may be that I haven't been um, practicing Orphan as much because the um, <coughs> the having to run back to Orphan gets on my nerves. Oh, you're here. Sorry. Uh, having to run back to Orphan gets on my nerves. And just the fact that you can be doing really good and all of a sudden lightning shit comes up and like one shots you like really just kind of chaps my ass. I mean, I will say for the most part, I think Orphan is a really good boss. It's just like, um, it, it would be nice if he wasn't tuned up to like a thousand when you're trying to fight him. Because he can be, um, to me, he can be, he can be kind of an aggravating fight. But I don't know, man. Maybe I just uh, haven't um, picked up on his patterns properly or something. I just, I know for me, it seems like when I am doing good against him, it'll just reach a point where the game just says, fuck you, you're not going to win. And then I just start getting where I can't get around it or whatever. But I don't know, man. It, it may just be... Um, It, it may just be me, man. Maybe maybe I just haven't, like, picked up on his patterns well enough. Take this blood cocktail, you son of a bitch. Did I whip that? Phase two. Yeah, phase two is really annoying. I just realized something I probably need to unlock from this asshole. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to save my bullets <clears throat> for when there's lava all over the place. I'll just go melee until then. More annoying than Radigan and the Elden Walrus. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, because of the fact that I have fought um, Orphan with summons and still couldn't beat him sometimes. Like, depending on the build, couldn't even beat him with a summon. And with Elden Beast, I have never had to just say, okay, this build is not going to beat him. I, I could eventually do it. Elden Beast probably... I would say Elden Beast is a shittier boss. But it's it's not that it's not because he's a um it's 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 not that how do I say this like he's not as tuned up as Orphan is. Well, I mean, I don't. Well, you know, it's like I'm not beating him by myself either. Now is a good time for me to break out the cannon. Bone marrow ash. Mega Man time, Kapow. Look at that, 880 damage. Two 
289. That sucks. Would he fail a random drug test? Yes. He's juicing. The man is juicing. I'm afraid he is. This lava can just suck my ass, dude. Like, if it wasn't for the lava, this boss would not be that hard. You don't think a newborn orphan goes to work? Well, think again. Yay! Good game. Good James. Good game. We killed him. Hooray! We got the embrace of the beast. Um, so I'm going to ask you this, um, Captain Friendzone. Do you want to fight living failures with me? They're going to totally suck ass, and it would be nice to have a friend there for that long ass fight, because fuck, that fight takes forever. I'm hoping it takes less time now that I have a, a bonk weapon, though, at least. I'm, I'm hoping it helps. The Star Wars. Oh, yeah, the music's good. Yeah, I agree. Oh, take care, Adam. Have a good night. Oh, look, he's got a little bottle of drink. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? He's trying to give me a little bottle of wine. What a little sweetie sweet pants. Sure, man. Yeah, you can join for Maria. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that because um, when when I did um, Maria last time, I um, I did solo, I think. So yeah, I'm cool with uh, I'm cool with co-op and Maria this time. Um, all right, let me see. I'm going to go up to this lantern up here and ring the bell. Research hall. I don't remember how to get up there. Fighting with a Chikage. Yeah, I think next game I'm going to go Chikage, man. Next or next next playthrough, I should say. I'm going to go Chikage. I almost did this time because I was talking about doing blood tinge, but then I remembered for the cannon, you got to do strength blood tinge. I'm going to get up and uh, get some water real quick while, uh, while I'm waiting on you to get something in. My, um, my mom, my mom finally mailed, um, all of our Christmas presents and, um, well, uh, 
Yeah, all of us have had a birthday too. So our Christmas and birthday presents just came in the mail today. I'm gonna pour me a little drink real quick in my little tiny cup. This is a watermelon soju. Ah, it's very pleasant. It's, very, it's really refreshing, man. I'm kind of surprised at how cheap this stuff is because it tastes great. Okay. Okay, sir. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go fight? Well, it's not my least favorite boss, but boy, oh boy. I'm not... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this boss. Oh, you ran upstairs. I think the last time we were we were playing Bloodborne, we were talking about the uh, the shitty bosses, <clears throat> and um, it's like what is it, uh, Miko Lash, uh, One Reborn, One Reborn is shitty, but it's not aggravating, so I don't really mind that one. Um, Rom, that's right, Rom, and. One Reborn. I don't really know where to go. I'm just going to run in here. You got Rom, One Reborn. No, god dang it. No. You got Rom and Miko Lash. Those two are a pain in the ass. Jeez, dude. How many of these fucking guys are there? Oh, they're just sedatives? Oh, look, I'm getting killed for sedatives, uh, Captain. Dude, how many of these freaking waterhead j dudes are, are there? Shit. Uh-oh, here's some crap on the ground. Blood, blood, okay. Better turn around quick, because I'm probably going to die. What's this room? Kill me, please kill me. Ah, help me, kill me. Oh, it's this guy. Chikage! Woohoo! I got you. Give me your brain fluid, you sucker. No brain fluid? Well, screw you, pal. Lady Maria, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Do 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 do. Don't let me down. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Ah. Soju is refreshing, man. Don't let me down. Ooh, look at all the little the bubble heads you murdered up here. I murdered like 20 of them in that other room. They just kept on coming. Nobody ever told me something about how to find living failures. Use her sword as a tampon and you can't convince me otherwise. Well, that's exactly what she does. Dude, I forgot to tell you guys another thing. Cool thing is um, in the vintage toy store they had tons of wrestling stuff like just like wrestling action figures from like the last 30 years at least it was crazy man crazy stuff they had old wrestling magazines too they had one that was hulk hogan like when he was like really young too like it barely even looked like him that was crazy Don't let me down. Do 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 do. Don't let me down. Let me think. What do we need? We need defense from Arcane, don't we? Oh, Liza P is cool, isn't it? How? Are, what did you think about the weapon crafting system? Have you tried that shit yet? Where you can swap out the weapons? I actually haven't, um, I don't, I don't really know if the weapon handle swapping thing 
is um great topic transition yeah well you know you know only only certain people care about this weird shit that i like i um i like <laughs> nice clapping for me yeah i did it i'm a champion you know it's like uh people um I gotta kill this bird because he's got the good shit. But you know, um, Li Liza P is really great, though. I the only the only thing about Liza P is I I'm not a hundred percent sure if you can beat certain bosses with any build. Like, uh, there have been um, <clears throat> some developments with that game. When when I got closer to the end where I started to wonder, um, like, is it is it actually possible to beat the game with any build? Or do you have to have a specific build to win? Because um, the, the last, um, the last three bosses of the game... I was pretty much just changing up my build um, constantly, trying to figure out how to how to win. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I jump down there, and how do I get up there? Do I have to go back to the stairs? I guess. You beat Simon with a katana without pairing. I don't even remember how I beat Simon. I just remember I did it. I know that his his second phase turns into horse shit. You haven't played much of it so far. It ranks in between Demon Souls and Bloodborne. <clears throat> mm. I mean, it's um, it's a good game. And I had a lot of fun with it, and, and it looked. But um, I swear, dude, the um, the yes, oh blobby thing. I think that the um, the way they have the last three bosses tuned up is fucking insane. Um, you know, it's it's a bit much. <coughs> Because the girl that you have to fight right before Manus is, is bad. Ooh. But then when you fight Manus, it's uh, it's ridiculous. You know, like the first phase of Manus isn't that bad. You know, um, it's like you have to... You know, you, you can't play foolishly. You have to play like you got a little bit of sense. Oh, is it is this where we go? See, I would have never figured this out. I would have run around and not even seen this damn ladder. Or I would have seen the ladder and thought I had already been here. This level really gets on my nerves with the uh, with the design. Oh, Blood Gem. It's probably better than the ones I've got, huh? But, um, yeah. Like, Manus' first face isn't bad. Like... I think I think Manus' first phase, it really just requires you not being an idiot. Like you just have to be you have to be safe and you have to be careful and don't don't do anything too damn risky. And you should be fine. God damn, these guys keep hitting me before I can hit them and they keep interrupting my shit. How frustrating. But Manus' second phase, man. It just feels like straight up RNG, like all day long. To me, to me with Manus's second phase, the game just decides that you're just gonna lose at that point. Like I don't, I don't even know how to describe how I beat him. Um. Wait a minute. You survived the fall? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. 
I'm just trying to figure out where the goddamn boss room is. I mean, I thought, wasn't it like up high? Am I, am I crazy? I thought, I thought you had to go up somewhere and you had to like jump down to some stairs or some shit. Go down. Be prepared for a not so fun experience. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating, man, because Eliza P has so much stuff about it that's great. I mean, like if you, if you played, oh, shit. If you played a lot of FromSoft games, you're gonna really um, you're gonna really appreciate a lot of the stuff that they changed in Liza P. But um, the one thing I'll say is that like I I kind of feel like certain builds just aren't gonna cut it. Um, depending on um, you know your play style, maybe I don't know. Well, you know, the, the thing is, like, for the most part, I enjoyed Manus. Um, Alright, how the fuck do I get there? The movement does feel a little slow. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, like, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of it I liked. I kind of feel like the first phase of Manus feels like a game. And the second phase... It just feels like you're playing Ikaruga. It's just like spam constantly. And then a lot of times it feels like there's stuff you can't dodge. Like that hand in the sky, I eventually figured out how to get around that. But, um, holy shit, dude. There was, uh, there was several parts in that second phase of that boss fight that I was like, how are, how are you supposed to do this? I, I honestly, dude, I, I don't know how I beat him. I don't remember what I did. I mean, I, I think I used a combination of everything. Like, I think I used throwing objects. And probably some other shit, too. Oh, I just realized I forgot my, um... My, my shock paper... Oh, I love how these guys can just Oh, I love how they can they can two shot you with their face. Okay, I just one shot at that one. Yeah, this is way better with this hammer, dude. My last build was dog shit. Oh, he's gonna back out of the way, that asshole. Oh shit, he got me with the head smash. Yeah, this is so much better this way. Because, like, if you're using hunter tools, man, like I was on the last playthrough, it's so annoying because you're going to be, like, you're going to be having to line up the tiny tonitrus to hit, like, three of these guys at once or else you're not going to kill them, like, without running out of shit. It's nuts. Isn't this crazy? We're about to kill him? Look at that. We killed him before the fucking star bombs even happened. That's nuts, dude. That's nuts. Make contact, son of a bitch. Wait a minute. This one's still alive? Why are you still alive, you nutsack? We killed y'all, remember? It said prey devoured by death. That was a good game there, Captain... Almost called Captain Beefsteak. Captain Beefheart. All right, who's ready to fight Maria of the Astral Cock Tower? Me. We clapped him. You should have used the Living Failure's Echo Glitch. I don't know what that is. Are you saying you can cheese some of the bosses in this game? I thought the only one you could cheese was Miko Lash. Oh, that's right. My bell is already rung. 
I just got to wait for you guys to ring your bell. Yeah, um, didn't didn't somebody else say they wanted to fight too? Cth who was it? Cthulhu? Zoso? Who was it? Somebody else said they wanted to do it too. Insane amount of blood echoes. Oh wow, that's cool. I should probably take the lid off of this bottle if I'm going to pour some more drink. You're kind of new to this? Well, it's all good. You don't think you can join? Sure you can. All you got to do is put in the password. It's capital R-E-T-U-R-N, return. Oh, well, yeah, you have to get to this um, lamp to summon here. Um, because I don't know if it'll let me summon you at Living Failures if they're already dead. <sighs> Weird glue, which is more money from Viscerals. Oh, really? Okay. Dang, you know what, dude? Let me go... You know what? Yeah, let me go spend my money real quick. I'm going to spend my money. I, I'm assuming you haven't rang your bell yet. Drinking a bunch of beer today? And how are you feeling about that? Oh, you did? Okay, well, hold on. I'm coming back. I'll be back in just a sec. Let me use my shit to level up real quick. Where's it gotta be? There we go. Really good? I bet. Dude, I'm drinking this soju and I'm already feeling pretty good. And I've only had like two little shot glasses of it. I love these things, cause see I was looking for shot glasses. But then I found these little tiny red solo cup shot glasses at, at my work and they were like a dollar and fifty cents. And I was like, yeah, okay. I like these because it's like I can have little tiny edibles. Oh, nice. Um, you, get, you get like a, you know, just this little tiny bit that kind of helps you control or kind of helps you keep up with how much you're drinking, I guess. I don't know. It's like I don't want to pour a giant cup of liquor. You know what I mean? I'd rather sip it out of a little tiny cup like I'm drinking espresso or something. I still want to learn how to make espresso. You're smoking a one-hitter? Oh, yeah. Sounds awesome, bro. I should probably ring the bell, eh? It's not letting me ring the bell. Why is it not letting me ring the bell, you guys? Hey, Guillermo Kratos? Why is it not letting me ring the bell now? It let me ring the bell to summon you for the last boss. And now it's not letting me do it. Look, it's like... The bell does not yet ring. Why would it not let me ring the bell here? I just... Hmm... What is going on here? Why would it not let me ring now? Let me try this. No, that didn't work. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to leave and come back. Um, are you, are you here with your bell ringing right now? Okay, let me leave and come back because it's still not working. I don't understand why is it
It's like this where I'm at too. Could be going on globally. What is going on here? Why? Why are they doing this? God dang it. Look, it's blanked out. Do you see that? It is blanked out right there. It's grayed out. Like, I don't have the option to ring it. It must be a network thing. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the main menu and come back. You think? Shy creature? What's up? You think you think maybe? I don't know. Like I mean the bell was already rang from where we fought the last boss. <clears throat> so I don't I don't understand why uh you know what I mean? Like why would it work and then I T I TP back to just spend my money. Like you'd think it would be alright. All right, where in the world am I? I'm right here. Still not gonna let me do it. Okay, let's trigger cutscene and see what happens. Why would they do that? The patching Lady Maria making her Melania yell at, yeah. Of course. Absolutamente. Penny the windows to iframe, yeah. Look at my character's face. How the secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will cure your little bitch ass now. What a cool cutscene. I think it's one of my favorite cutscenes in the whole game. Lady Marie is just a badass, dude. Oh, got me with that delay. She got me with that delay, bitch. Oh, stop interrupting my attacks. You fake or? Yeah, her song's awesome. Hey, bro. What am I supposed to make of that? Oh, you turned it into a car? Yeah. That's cool. Blood hound step. Ugh. Forgot that happened. Suck. Yikes, Zoiks, Scoob. How dare you? How dare you, you harlot? Uh, hit me with your swords, you beach. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Right. Stop it, please. Stop. Look, Maria. We have to get done with this game because we have to get back to Dragon's Dogma. Okay? We're playing Bloodborne for the event. We're not playing it for the rest of our life. Alright? Thank you. Stop interrupting my shit. I have to kill you. Thank you. Nope. Stop doing that.
You did? Yeah. What? I got Solar Mill here. I got Pazuchico. Pazuchico? Pazuchico was in a chopper. Got that cutscene. I guess what Rainbow died. What? C. Oh, wow. Yeah, I never got C before. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I'm gonna try to get. Is that Ground Zero as you're talking about? That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played that yet. I'm eventually going to get around to it though, because I love Metal Gear. Metal Gear's yeah. awesome. Snake is a badass. He's also one of the best Smash Brothers characters ever. Ugh. 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 Cool Liza P. Quote here. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Metal Gear kicks so much ass, dude. I'm telling you, man, when I had a PlayStation 1 and Tekken 3 was like my fucking shit for life, one day I bought this game called Metal Gear Solid and then I was like, holy mother of a fuck. Eh. Oh no, oh no, dude. I just did blood bullets and I didn't mean to. Oh no! She got me. She got me. No, I got her! I got her! Oh shit! I forgot I had a Yosef Kazvile. I got her. Fuck. I beat her with the bonk bonk. I beat her with the bonk bonk. Beat her with the bonk bonk. Oh yeah! Beat her with the bonk bonk. Beat her with a bonk bonk. It's so funny that I just remembered I had a gun at the last moment. That's the craziest shit. Oh, you're trying to play dog? I guess I'll die. <laughs> you were cheering for her, not gonna lie. Well, I mean, she's you know she's a uh, waifu. She's um she's weeb shit sword waifu. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, level up again. Get her with the bonk bonk. No, 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 no. Okay, what do we need? We need 30,000 blood echoes. Okay, I don't think I have that many blood echoes. Never mind. I should repair my stuff. Oh, actually, maybe check this shit out, too. Raise HP, blood vial maximum, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 rally, temporary transformation, uh, I don't know what any of this shit means. Assume the force of a ghastly beast. What does that mean? Be as down to die as easily for the sake of dogma. I, yeah, he better, that little slut. He damn sure better. I am, like, stunned. Deeper deaths count as the cum swamp. Kinda... It's... Well, I mean, it's definitely a swamp. No doubt about that. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, alcohol. Don't fuck me up. We gotta go this way. Rip. And this way. Astral clock tower. Is it just me? Or is it every time you hear the word clock tower, you just think about Castlevania because it's like the most traumatic thing ever? You're right. It's the cum swamp. The astral clock tower. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see.
<laughs> Despicable secret. Wait a minute. And I'm supposed to click on something right here. Are you serious? Look at this. I can't get out. I can't get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I gotta, like, stand in a weird spot, don't I? Like, right here. Yeah, I forgot. Isn't that stupid, though? That's... That's another one of those things that's, like, almost cryptic. Because, like... What if you don't walk on that exact same spot? You're not gonna realize... Oh, this opens up the crazy Castlevania door. Well, shit. Good on me for finding that out at the last minute. Okay, let me see what Jacob just said. Jacob said some funny shit. Let's see it. Will cost be down to die easily for the second dogma, though. Wait a minute. That's, that's, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I gotta put it on all messages. That's what it is. Because I saw you said something on the PlayStation. Fuck it, Trey. Just beat the game. Do you really want to swim with the fishes again? <clears throat> That's a good point. I mean, we, we, we really have killed everything in this game. Except for Fish Face. You have a, you have a point. Because... If we go ahead and just finish the game, we can get back to some of our other games. Adam Muzzy, what's up, man? Um, that um, you know, if you if you didn't live in in this time period where you can just get people to tell you shit, oh my God, there's so many things you would not be able to do. Like this game, I think this would be. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Maybe this and Dark Souls 2, in my opinion, would probably be the two hardest games to actually finish because they have, like, cryptic-ass stuff. Oh, yeah. You ready? Hold on. I'll ring my bell. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. Hey, it let me ring it this time. Do all the side quests without well, guys? You never do it. You never do it because they're most of them are so cryptic. You'd never figure them out. Um, like like you know, thinking about um, some of the some of the shit in these games, dude. Like just figuring out how to go to the woods to me really chaps my ass. Yeah, we can try to do it. Oh, Dark Souls 1, yeah, you're right about the DLC. Yeah, because in a way, yeah, Dark Souls 1 would be another game that you wouldn't be able to complete it without the internet because you're never going to figure out how to get to the DLC. Get the fuck out of here. Because what happens? You go back there, right? You kill the um, Hydra, and you go back to the back of the lake, and what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. Because... You have to reload the area to make the piss golem even show up, right? So, you have to reload the area. Hello, my good sir. It's good to see you here. Thank you so much. Jolly cooperation. You have to reload to make the piss golem show up. And then when you kill the piss golem, um, Princess Peach shows up. And if you talk to her, she disappears. And then you have to reload... No, I'm talking about the yellow one that you have to kill in the pond. That's a totally different one. That's another whole level of bullshit. Because when you talk to Princess Peach, you know, I think her little summon sign appears on the beach. But then you have to somehow know that when you go to the archives and you get the blue golem and kill him, you get that thing... And it does say that it's from Ulysil. So I understand that you will think, okay, well, if you remember her name was Dusk of Ulysil, you know, you might say, okay, this might be connected, right? But wouldn't you go to where her summon sign was, not to the back of the pond where the golem was? So I would never have thought to go back to that pond again because it looks like you found the thing that was there. Like, that's crazy, you know? Like, why would you think to go back there again? And then, 
you know, when you get that, um, the pendant, you know, then you're finally, okay, I have the pendant and now I've gone back to the back of the pond again. I have never played Terraria. I don't know anything about it. I think one of my friends said it's like 2D Minecraft. They showed you the Manus hand grab in the DLC. Oh, okay. So they basically cheated. They just show you how to do it. I'm trying to heal so bad and this fish fuck keeps hitting me in the back of the head. So they cheat in the DLC trailer. That's kind of impressive. I never would have guessed that. I, um... I don't remember if I saw the trailer, to be honest. Um, because, um... I, I definitely bought Dark Souls 1 on launch day. I didn't get it when the DLC was already out. But I don't remember seeing a trailer for the DLC. I just remember buying the DLC when I heard it was it was going to be out. If Minecraft still had soul, like Aretha Franklin or James Brown. So you're saying if James Brown was in Minecraft, it would be Terraria. I got you. I got soul, and I'm super bad. Did you go in this little house, Captain? You did, didn't you, Captain? There you are. I found you. I found you, Captain. You murdered a man in here. A harrowed hood and a harrowed stuff. A harrowed gauntlets. I got so and I'm super bad. Are you fucking with me? Every time I go through the door, you turn around and go the other way. Or are you trying to figure out where to go? Oh, bloodstone chunk. Oh, and I fell down because I'm really smart. It's a soulless cash grab. I'll, I'll be honest with you, dude. I think Minecraft is the most boring goddamn game I've ever played in my fucking life. I think I'd probably play Mario's Picross before I tried to play Minecraft. Like, my son tried so hard to get me to care about that game, and I just find it exceedingly boring. Standing there chipping away at trees and shit just to build a thing that I have to build another thing to combine these other things to build another thing. It is so monotonous and boring to me. Like, I just don't understand why anybody likes it, and it's no offense to anybody who does like it, like, I've tried to explain to my son that it's like I'm not trying to be a personal attack. I just don't get it. It's so boring to me. Like, these games can be frustrating. But Minecraft, it's like I don't even get invested in the game enough to be frustrated. And, and, you know, really, of, um, you know, the two, like, most popular games that are out there, I find Fortnite to be way more fun than Minecraft, because at least Fortnite is a third-person shooter, and I enjoy shooters. You know, I can, I can run around and snipe people or do whatever. That stuff's fun. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't remember where she's at in this level. I remember where she is in a few levels. But definitely not this one. Oh, there she is. I found her. <laughs> Look at that. I just walked around the counter and there she was. Excellent, mi amigo. Do we, do we go down here now? No, that's the lantern. We've already been there, haven't we? Thank you. Thank you. I did it. Thank you, sir. Salutations. But we do go this way. Ah, I'm gonna climb the ladder slowly. If I can scratch myself. Hey, have you guys ever looked at any of the comments on my videos? Because I had a guy, uh, I think a couple guys actually have um, showing you open shortcut. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I've had a couple guys comment that when I don't slide down the ladders, it triggers them, and it just cracks me up. You just saw your video near your top, and now I'm back to your original search. 
Hold on, I'm gonna read the rest of what you said. Hold on just a second, Captain. Let me let me just read what uh what he what he said there. Back to my original search, but you earned a sub. Oh well thank you. Um I will I will say if this is the only thing you've ever seen on the channel, I do um I do edited videos too. And sometimes I'm talking about FromSoft games, and sometimes I'm talking about movies, TV shows, and shit like that. It just kind of depends. Woo! I just, um, you know, I just, I just kind of do different stuff, but I kind of try to maintain a a pattern of um, releasing a From Software video and then something else. And every once in a while, I'll skip the something else, and I'll just do two from soft videos back to back. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I hope, I hope you, you know, get around to checking out some more of the stuff that I've worked on, and and you enjoy it a lot. And uh, you have a good night. It was good seeing you. All right, man. Take care. Thanks again. I appreciate you very much. Let's see here. We gotta go up here. Spearfish boys. Uh oh, oh the purple shit. I love it. I love purple shit. I almost love the purple stuff as much as I love Sunny D. And this shark. Oh, I forgot. It's not a man. It's a rock. Shooting out purple stuff. Oh no, Captain Friendzone. Captain Friendzone. God damn it. He got Oh shit! Look, I almost made it to the lantern. I got friend zoned by the fucking game. This game ain't no friend of mine. Sharks really, they're the only thing that's like an actual threat in this game. Everything else in this game is kind of a wuss, but the sharks. Sharks are just They're pretty they're pretty tough. I think the sharks are another actually while we're talking about it. I think the sharks are another aspect of this game that um they're just they're just tuned up a little bit, you know what I mean? They're tuned up a bit too much. Um it's like their health their damage, they're a little ridiculous. It's like, I know this is like the last level of the DLC and all, but it's like, dude, what level does do you expect me to have my character at? Like, you know, I don't, I don't really level up a ton in this game. The two ones in the well, yeah, the two ones in the well is the worst thing ever. All right, friend zone, I'm getting this lantern so I can just summon you here. Uh, yeah, the two ones in the well might be one of the scariest things in the game, actually, come to think of it. Um, oh, they followed me in here. Wow. Suck ass. Look at that shark. He is coming through the wall like some kind of nightmare. Look at this guy slapping me with his, um, his little spatulas like a prick. Stop it. I hate you. Let's try to ring my bell. Here we go. The shark is pissed off that he couldn't get me. Oh, there he is. Hey, asshole. You suck. Did you know that? Did you know you suck? Where's my hammer? I kind of need it. Oh, you know what? Here you are. Haha. -ha. I'm trying to think. Isn't there something over here? Is this where the blood letter is? Or we gotta do some bullshit to get the blood letter, don't we? I can't remember. It's one of them weapons that you gotta do some you gotta do some crap to get. <laughs> well, I guess we erased that guy. Got deleted pretty quick. Bloodied armbands. Is 
There's something. Whoa. Ass. Take this, wizard fish. Yeah. Give me your bolt gem, son. Oh, that's right. This is the the magical cave of happiness and wonder. Hello, fish. Are you ready to go fishing? Oh, no. I missed. That makes me upset. I'm going to nudge you a little bit. Like, I'm just going to kill this guy just because I have a feeling he's going to follow me later. Oh, look, an item. It's just blood. Great. Well, it's okay. I think I needed it. Okay, mister. I keep forgetting I could be... You know what? Actually, no. I was going to say that I keep forgetting I could be using my bullets in these levels. But that's not true. Because, um, ha ha, have a nice fall. That's not true because, um... There's not that many enemies that actually drop Quicksilver bullets. So if I like use my cannon, I use like, what is it, like eight shots? There's a chance that I would have to go to the boss and only have one use of my gun. chunk this is like a interesting little area right here it's very puzzly oh no man snail woman got you man I love the fact that this area is not a swamp it's pretty creepy and disgusting but it's not a swamp I'm happy about that Yay, another chunk. Oh boy, this is one of my favorite things ever right here. Are you ready for the are you ready for some football? A Monday night party. Got this dude with the blood letter and we fucking deleted him in two seconds. <laughs> now we got your pants. Miss the pants, man. Is it that way? Uh-oh, where'd you go? Did you talk to Hobo Guy? Are you talking about the guy that's like walking past you? Or walking in front of you at the beginning of the level? Is that the guy you're talking about? There's an item back here? Shit. I didn't even know that. I never bother going down here because I get killed by that bullshit too quick. You talking about the guy at the beginning of the level? The, 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 the one that's just like mumbling weird shit like, hey, blah, 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 yeah, I could have smack and he's got like the thing over his face. Dude, I don't know where that guy is. I looked for that motherfucker the first time I or the first time I played this game and then I think the second time I played the game I don't think I found him and then this time I tried to find him too and I still never found him and I was like how come I can't ever find him because like I've heard people say that um the bow blade is in this level and every time I try to find him I can't find him Oh, there's the police chasing somebody. Somebody's doing something good. The guy you can bring to Odin. Well, like I, like I said, man, I've never found the guy. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bunch of purple shit coming at me. Oh god, the purple shit's gonna kill me. I'm glad we came back. Fuck. Huh? Oh, this guy. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, I did find this guy one time. Is this the guy, the guy that gives you the bow blade? Why does my character keep doing all this shit? Wow, underground cell inner chamber key. What the fuck does that key go to? I don't even know what that key goes to. I think, dude, I think I've only found this guy or talked to this guy one time. The key lets you get blood letter. Oh, is that the key that you go to after, um, in that little area after Ludwig? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so I, okay. So I just forgot. I have done this one time. I've done it one time. I think I think what it is is because I've done it one time, I forgot how to do it. Because I did it um I did it on one playthrough and then I you know ba basically just couldn't remember how to fucking do it on any other playthrough. All right, hold on a sec. You gonna use blood letter? I thought about it. Um, yeah, I was thinking blood letter would be cool to use, right? Um, cause I mean, it's, it's strength and, um, blood tinge, right? Creed is on tour with fuel and finger 11. Let's go. Hell yeah. Strength and blood. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. So I was thinking about using it. Um, what did I even pick up? Um, you know, I don't know a single Finger Eleven song. I'd have to go Google them and see what their songs are to know any of them. I probably have heard one, I'm sure, right? Oh, good gracious. Oh, good gracious. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With arms wide open, yeah, and everything with arms wide open. Oh, they don't give you any blood uh, echoes because they don't have blood, they're just made out of goop. They give you goopy echoes, I guess. And I give you everything. Wasn't it a great time back in the 90s when everybody sounded like that? Isn't it weird that the Orphan of Cost looks nothing like his mom? Does that mean his mom got like banged by Matt Damon or something? This boss was made by Mr. White Christmas. Hi, Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. Did you get the sun seed? The sun seed? What the fuck? I'm guessing not. I don't even know what that is. Did you just make that up? I got a lot of insight right now. I should probably change my armor. Oh, look at that. I just came over to hit him and... I hate this weapon. It's Sun Seed backwards. There, I threw a blood vial. Stun seed. It's 
going to say, if he's going to keep focusing on me, just hit him in the back. Come on. Oh, oh, he moved. Piece of shit. Oh, damn. His his freaking attacks are so accurate. They're like, I hate tracking attacks. You pecker. Oh, look at that. I interrupted his attack with my charge dart too. I always feel like a badass when I do that. <laughs> Eating orphans with hammers. Happy Easter, everybody. I don't know what the parry loop is, but I do know this. I have a gun, and I can fucking use it. If he doesn't just chase me down and two-shot me like he wants to do. That pissed him off real good. And now he's going to decide that I'm dead, probably. Nope, never mind. Try to hit him with a charge just to, you know, give myself a chance to hit him. Oh, oh are you out of heals, man? We've almost got him. Oh, shit. He's just going to jump on my head and one-shot me. God damn it. See what I mean? It's like... This is why I hate this boss. As soon as you like... Look at this bullshit. As soon as I try to heal, he just lands on my head and wastes the heal that I just did. Look at this. This is four heals in a row. Four heals in a row he just wasted. Damn this boss. Ah, oh, again. God, stop jumping on my head, you fucker. Look at that. See? It's just RNG, man. The, the game just decides it's going to kill you and that's it. It's one hit to go, and the game's just like, nah, I'm just going to attack again. That's so cheap. It's like, I don't, I think that's why, like, I don't rage too hard when I play these games, is because of the fact that, like, I know it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I know. Well, like I said, I can't parry with a cannon. Like, I'd have to change guns to you to do parry. And, um, I, I mean, never play DLC, that boss, he looks hard as fuck. Yeah, he's, he's a pain in the ass. Um, hold on a minute, I'm gonna go grab the blood letter real quick. Um, 
So the thing, the thing is, is like, I've seen somebody do the Perry, uh, what do you call it? The Perry cycle or whatever. Um, I've tried to do it and I haven't been able to do it. <clears throat> Cause I mean, you gotta have it like frame perfect. And, um, the, the thing, the thing realistically about that boss to me is the fact that, um, if you, um, if you're, if you're playing, um, against him, come on, motherfucker, come on, bitch. The thing about him is you will, um, I don't know how to say it other than like, I've seen people do the parry loop thing. And when I try it, it just doesn't work. Brader's testimony. Wait a minute, that's not it. Well, shit, where am I supposed to go? Oh, is this it? Oh yeah, I'm going to. You know what I just realized too, man? If if I had actually used bolt paper on the orphan fight, we would have beat him. That's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh, that's it? Oh, I thought he was going to get up and fight me for real. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, I got the blood letter. You didn't have beast blood? Well, I guess I'm going to go back and buy my um, upgrades. Okay, uh, Captain, are you ready to try Orphan again? This time, I'm going to actually use my items. I don't... I think what it was, I forgot to equip my items. And then I didn't think we were going to do that good. I didn't think we were going to do as good as we did. I thought I was going to die really quick. So, um, I just, uh, you know, here, let me just get some money so I can do these upgrades. Um, <clears throat> I, I think I didn't even bother equipping shit cause I didn't think we were going to kill them or get anywhere close to killing them. And now I'm, I'm mad cause I'm like, geez, we could have killed them on the first try. Uh, Hey, um, yeah, I think as far as I know, I think everybody's been doing good except for Jacob. Jacob is sick, which sucks. But Captain Friendzone has been playing with me, and we've been we've been uh, we've been having a pretty good time. I think we almost killed Orphan on the first try, and um, we almost killed um, Lawrence on the first try. And then um, I ended up summoning a friend zone for Lawrence. <coughs> he sounds like he's doing pretty bad. Um, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I almost killed Lawrence by myself. Well, with an NPC summon. And then I got caught in the stupid lava trying to dodge. And it killed me. So that was kind of, that was kind of shitty. <coughs> but yeah, we almost just took out Orphan on the first try, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever, like, like seriously, I don't think I've ever done that good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Captain was kicking ass, dude. I and I seriously, dude, I don't, I don't think I've ever done that good against Orphan, like with co-op or anything like I mean like we 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 he was almost dead this time all right um let me go up here I'm gonna see what we can do blood gem 
get this fucking us out of here. Okay. We're going to go to Fortify. We go to Blood Letter. Okay, hold on. Isn't this going to be fun, you guys? We're going to do Blood Letter. <clears throat> oh, I need 16 um, Blood Tinge. Let's do that. Yoink, yoink. Oh. Well. Okay, looks like I need a couple more uh, levels. Hold on. Let's just let's just get them really quick because I've never used the blood letter before. I I honestly don't think I've ever even used the weapon. So I I kind of want to try it since we're kind of at the end of the game. If that's okay with you. Um. Let's run in here real quick. Use bold hunter marks in the comfica. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's do that then. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is like when I get in here and I use my money, bold hunter mark out of here. Where is it? Where? Here it is. You know what's funny? I like never use these things either. Oh, that's a good idea, bro. Wow, I've never done that before. That's a really good idea. It's even faster. Oh, I love how he puts his hand on his face like, you failure. You fucking failure. <clears throat> Bold come dungeon. Quit more money runes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I guess I should have done that, huh? I guess that would have made it even quicker. Go up oh, there. It is. Let's do it one more time. Look at all this money. You get it really quick. Let's see if that's enough to use the blood letter. Huh? I need to get some time. Can you, can you kind of see if you can build a freaking spider transform? What happened? Did a part come off? Um, uh, no. <clears throat> You're just trying to transform it? Yes. <sighs> really? Well, I can tell you one thing, man. As somebody who's had transformers a long time, um, wow, look at that. That was just enough. Okay, let's level. Hey, Clive, come here and check this out. Come look at this weapon I just got. This is the first time I've ever gotten this weapon and got my stats to where I can actually use it. Look at this sick thing. Oh my god, this thing looks disgusting. Why does it look? It looks very different. Oh, I gotta transform it, don't I? <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> They forgot you gotta transform it. Look at that disgusting thing. Okay, now how does it work? Does transform do blood tinge damage? And non-transform do just um, strength damage? Because I see now it's saying B and blood tinge. Look at this thing. Look at this weapon. 
Dang, dude, that thing is big. It looks like something you would pull out of the devil's ass in Doom, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what it looks like when it's not transformed. <clears throat> the, 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 look at We're going to upgrade weapon. it. Does that come with your transformer? Yeah, it's the one. It's pretty cool. I just put them together. Yeah. These are now it's separate. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm still down to one blood rock. A and S scaling. Wow. A and S. Damn, dude. So blood letter is blood is blood letter the best strength weapon in the game? Like if you're going for just strength? Seems pretty damn strong, man. All right, lighthouse hut. Here we go. Huh? Oh, shoot. I need to buy some bullets. All right. <clears throat> you think hammer is? Because, I mean, I'm looking at the scaling, and it's A and S. What is that? Toddy. Is that yours? Yep. That thing's enormous. Exactly. You're supposed to wear that? Yep. That's crazy. All right, there we go. Oh, that's right, Whirly Gig. Yeah, Whirly Gig's the best. I forgot. You're right. I, uh, I, I think I forget about the Whirly Gig saw because to me the Whirly Gig saw almost doesn't count because it's just like the best weapon ever. You know, I kind of forget about it like that. Isn't there something down there where the two sharks are? What is it down there? Is it a sword or something? I forget. Do I want to know if I'm able to get this freaking... Oh, I just broke it. Broke what? My chain. You broke your chain? Yeah. Oh, the Rakuya is down there. Okay, I was thinking that it was a sword. That's what I was thinking. Broken. Is it actually broken? Yeah, it is. Look. Oh, hold on just a second. I'll, I'll take a look. Hold on. Alright. Let me see. Don't tie, don't tie it into a knot. It's already tight enough. Um, it's not actually broken. Oh. Um, basically, it's just a chain. All you really got to do is just get another little thing to clip it. Oh. Um, I don't know where... Did it find you? Okay, it did. I don't know how it came off. It Trying to look for it. She's doing it down there to stop using blood. I think I remember hearing something like that. Yeah, we can fix this. We am, you're off to sleep before you start speaking of broken English again. All right, Penny, we'll have a good night. And um, when you wake up, Orphan will be dead. I honestly don't know if I've got enough umbilical cords to fight Moon Presence, but I don't really give a shit. I just want to hurry up and finish the game so we can get back on Dragon's Doge. Hey, hey what's yeah. up, dude? Yes, I am cold. What a gray shirt. I'm a transformer. Penny Crygore. <laughs> it's funny because Aurora's never on here when Penny is on. Yeah. And Aurora would know exactly who that is because she knows the name of every character in freaking warrior wear. Yeah. 
Wario. Wario. Uh, uh, uh. A physical, let's see, physical 110, 120. Yeah. Put that bay to sleep for me while I'm gone. The bay. Okay. I'll do it. Constable's gloves. Oh my god, look at this. I'm gonna get constable involved with this shit. Alright, I'm ready to party. I changed my outfit and I'm ready to party. Ready to get down. Ready to boogie. I don't know, man. I think I heard something like that. Like she threw the sword down a well. But who knows, dude. I could be wrong. All right, Cosm. Orphan of Cosm. Ooh, look at the range on this weapon. That makes me hot. What? Red Dead? I played the first Red Dead, but not the second one. I've heard it's good. Oh. I know a bunch of people on the channel have been playing it and said it's pretty hot. Said it's hot shit. What? In GTA, if you get GTA Plus, you can get Red Dead. Red Dead. If you get GTA Plus, you can get Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. The whole game? I don't know. They just said they took a Red Dead. Yeah, I've been wanting to play Red Dead too. I really enjoyed the first one. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, Grand Theft Auto is fantastic and I love it. But, dude, I love cowboy shit. <laughs> like, fucking western shit is one of my favorites. Oh shit, you already died, my homie. Well, that didn't work. Thought you could heal off of him. Well, you could you could in GTA 5. Really? Yeah, you can do legal stuff. You can do illegal stuff? Yeah. Can you do legal stuff? Yep. Can you take your buddy to the um to the to the bowling alley like you can in Grand Theft Auto 4? Probably. Probably? Can you spray shit all over the walls like in Saints Row 2? Can you use the doo-doo truck like in Saints Row 2? No. Damn it. Hey. Saints Row 2 is amazing. Hey, what? Cool cars, cool cars? In a Grand Theft Auto game? Yep. Wow. And your rinks. And your rinks. Like wine. You can drink wine? Yep. Smoke. You know what's cool in Red Dead Redemption? You can play poker and you can cheat too. Oh snap! You can cheat in poker. Not only can you cheat, but if they catch you cheating, it like if a dude catches you cheating at cards, he'll he'll want to duel you. And if you get really good at dueling in Red Dead, you can just fucking murder him, even though he tried to call you a filthy cheater. You can murder him, even though it was your fault that, that you're having a gunfight. It's great. I love Red Dead Redemption. It's so fun. Too much I get. And you really have to get good at it, too. You really have to get good at drawing. Wow, that's soft. Yeah. You have to get really good at, at, at drawing. That's how he's been playing? He's just been a dirty cheater? I remember when I first started playing Red Dead Redemption, and I, like, really sucked at, um at doing duels but then once I got good at it I could not um, I could not be bad at duels once I got the hang of it yeah we're talking about Red Dead Redemption man what a great game right she said you've been playing part two I haven't played part two yet I've only played the first one but I want to play the second one It's a prequel. Well, that's interesting. I um, I definitely would not have guessed a prequel. 
You're not wasting your time trying to sleep? Because cause you could be talking about Red Dead with us? You can hog tie people and feed them to the gators? Oh my god, that's amazing. Hey dude. Okay. I'm trying to be too loud. This weapon's cool. Your underwear is too big. Well, you gained some weight. Eat a cheeseburger. Eat a ham. Don't eat vegetables though, they won't help you get able to fill up your your, up your clothes. Need some cake. Cake will help. Pop tarts help. Carbs just help in general. Carbs will make you fat quick. If you need to gain weight. A six inch sandwich? I really should have told your mom to just give me a subway sandwich too, just because I like subway sandwiches. Oh yeah? Oh, greet, greet, antagonize. Now I get what you're saying. Yeah. <clears throat> Pizza pal combo, yeah. 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 Alright, man. Alright, good night. Love you. See you in the morning. Which one? Which one? Oh, well, I, just, I have to reshoot it. I haven't shot it yet, you know, because me and your sister went up to town. So I have to reshoot it. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to see if there's anything in the script that I need to, you know, modify. Patches, gun patches. My patch is gone wild. Oh look, he just decided that the game was over. See that? I was doing fine and then all of a sudden he just decided the game was over. And he knocks me down and while I'm stunned just kills me. That's what I'm talking about. It's crazy because we did even better on the first try. I thought it was, yeah, there we go. Okay. I think I left my headphone in here. You left what? My headphone. Dude, I don't know. Wait, oh, a dime. The blood letter only hits 107. Does it? it you think it's because... Um, hold on. It says 171 plus 171. So shouldn't it be like... Three, 340 something? Or... 
something like that. Um, Because it says 171 physical, 171 blood. Um, dude, you know what I just realized? I forgot to put the gems in it. That's what the fucking problem is. I forgot to put the gems in it. It's fine. We'll go ahead and fight them one more time. Yeah, I forgot to put gems on it. I can't believe I did that. Because I took the gems out of the hammer because I thought I was going to need to use them for the blood letter. <clears throat> and then I, I got, um, I think I got a little distracted because Clive came in here. Oh, look at this little fucking bitch. <laughs> See what I mean? He was excited when you mentioned Subnautica. Oh yeah, we're gonna do Subnautica. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do Subnautica. That's why I, um... You know, that that's why I kind of want to go ahead and, um... I want to I wanna try to finish, um... I want to try to finish this game tonight. Hold on, dude. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm going to do my um, gems real quick. Just a second. <clears throat> Get lighting paper. Yeah, that's that's something I need to do too, actually. fact do I have lightning paper on mine I only have seven let me go ahead and just just get some money to get some more Clyde what are you doing you can't respec no no you can't Yeah, you can't respect. That's just another one of the things about this game that it's like, you know, it's hard. It's hard for me to say. It's hard for me to say that it's in my top like two, or maybe even three from soft games because I like being able to respect. It's fun. It's fun to be able to do that. You know, I, I like to be able to experiment and to have to do a whole new game. Just to say, you know what, dude, I want to try doing this kind of build. It's it's a little aggravating. It's your favorite? I mean it's 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 hard it's hard to me because I like all of the games a lot. And so it's it's hard for me to say that one is like my favorite exactly. But um it's also hard for me to say that like one it's it's almost more of like a a scale of um is it is it a rank or s rank you know what i mean gaming for me let's see i can hold three more bolt papers 
let's go do our uh, let's go do our things here. It's the middle one. This thing scales B arcane. Why? It says one ninety five plus one seventy two. That adds skill scaling. It's interesting. Okay. This is the blood letter. blood tinge slot did I I didn't see anything that was like raising anything really I mean I just put in whatever was helping at the most helping the damage the most the numbers turned blue I just changed it out It is. Yeah, man. Did I ring it? Oh, I already rang the bell. I'll just try this setup, and if it don't work, then um, I'll try something else. Take a bowl of hunter's mark off.
It, you know, the trick to this boss is just not fucking dying. Because, like, you see right there, son of a bitch just hit me three times and I was almost dead. Like, I'm gonna try to just get a hit in, and when he starts aggroing uh, Captain, then I'm gonna move out of the way. Or, or when he starts aggroing Captain, I'm gonna run to him. When he aggroes me, I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope I will get killed. Oh wow, look, he's already down this low. I've never seen somebody have so much trouble figuring out if they're sleepy or not. Okay, well I only have to beat, I only have to do half of the boss fight now, and then we're done. See, every time I heal, the fucking asshole lands on me and wastes the heal that I just used. Oh, oh, I didn't die. Look at that. I had like one health. And then when I start trying again, he, he starts hitting me again. God, I can't even see what's going on. I tried to quick dodge backwards. It didn't work. He went forwards. Just tell me what direction I'm supposed to dodge. It's like it just goes in a 360 degree motion. Can just unlock you. That's great. Unlocking automatic is awesome. Oh, I'm out of heals. Oh, I'm fucked. That's great. Why don't you just hurry up and kill me now, you piece of shit? Cheap ass motherfucker. I'm just gonna go back with a hammer. <clears throat> I'm assuming that I had to um, be leveling Blood Tinge the whole game to make this weapon worthwhile. here and I'm gonna do this uh, 
Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and raise that hammer to... Uh, you know what? Hold on. No. Instead of raising the hammer to 10, i got another idea. This adds bolt. The workshop is on foyer. Okay. All right. Oh God, I need heals. Hold on just a sec. Sorry. I thought I bought more. Hold on. Let me get some heals. There we go. Okay. Let me let me get me a bunch of heals real quick. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Captain. We're ready to party now. You're going to lock in. What does that mean? Won't be able to hear stream. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Harrion. Let's do it. Oh, I just realized something. Let me make sure I got my bolt paper ready to go. Yeah.
Bolt Paper Brothers away. Let's go. Let's go, Lightning Team. Lightning powers go. I'm gonna go ahead and just heal that up. He always does that shit where he jumps away and hits you. You notice that? Oh, I staggered him. Did you see that? Like, I hit him in the middle of his swing. And it staggered his bitch. That's weird. He stopped chasing me. And he went after you. He turned and started chasing me again. Now he's facing you again. Jumping bastard. Okay, hold on. I'm putting the bolt paper on. Oh god, I'm putting the bolt paper on if I can heal. He's dead. Holy shit, GG, man. We did it. We fucking did it. Cause Parasite. We dude it. Well, that was hard. It definitely was easier with a good weapon and fucking lightning. Alright, man. You ready to go fuck German in his fuck hole? Let's go kill German. Let's kill all them. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, I was uh I was planning on it. Um hold on. Let's see. How does this work? Do I have to I have to start the fight or don't I? Hold on. I got a bold hunter's mark out of here. You have to kill that shadow. Apparently not cuz I tried it and it didn't do anything. Okay, hold on. Bold hunter's mark. There it is. Oh, do I have to do it over here? Yeah, see, it won't let me do it. You have to, um, I think you have to start the fight with him. See, it won't, it won't let me ring the bell. I've got to start the fight with him first. I'm just going to start it and Bold Hunter's Mark out. Did you go back to Cathedral Ward? Oh, I forgot. No, I didn't do that. I forgot. I forgot that's what I was supposed to do to get the third one. In fact, I don't know if I ever got the second one. No, no, I've eaten two. I've eaten two. That's right, I forgot I have. Yeah, I guess I can run back to Cathedral Ward real quick. Yeah, hold on just a sec. I'll do it. Yeah, there's four.
Okay. Ringing the bell. I just did. Oh, hello, Indiana Jones 1, Jones son. I ran out of bold paper, really? Okay, didn't realize that. Pancake German. German pancakes. Ta-da. He's dead. Yeah, Kirkhammer might be my favorite weapon in the game right now. I'm, I'm seriously loving it, man. Doing a whole playthrough with Kirk Hammer is pretty legit. Like, I, uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. for the win. I'm assuming you can't parry with a cannon, but geez, I've never tried it really, to be fair. I completely forgot to bring bolt paper or fire paper to this fight. <laughs> Alright, GG, we did it, man. Good job. Now we get to turn into a squiddy. Praise the GG. Are you cold? <laughs> hey, guinea piglet. Oh, Do you want to see the cool thing that I bought today at the comic book store? Uh, it's all good, man. We're gonna have plenty of shit. Yeah, that. Yeah, we already did the DLC. We just we just killed the orphan a minute ago. Hey. 
I'll show look. I'll show you the first thing that I bought, and then I'll show you the second thing that I saw in the comic book store. Check this out. Okay, you ready for this piglet? The first thing I saw in the in the um, in the the big comic book store that we found. This was the first thing I saw when I walked in the store. Is a Garbage Pail Kids comic book. And I don't know what it is. It's like sealed up in a bag. But I love Garbage Pail Kids. Um, it says it comes with uh, at least one trading card. Oh, that's not anything. Look at the second thing I saw. <clears throat> This is the second comic that I noticed when I went into the store. <laughs> I I was like what? This is apparently issue number two. It's a comic. It's a comic book. And what's cool is, the guy at the comic book store, you get a free board and a bag with any comic that you want. Which is awesome, because I like to collect shit, you know? And, um, yeah, I haven't read it yet. I just bought it, and we just got home before I started streaming. Um, here, I'll show you the other shit, since you weren't on when I was showing everybody. Um... My daughter even got excited because she went with me. She went to earlier, and it was a um, like a like a vintage toy store, but they also had a couple comic books. And I got this uh, Incredible Hulk four hundred, and um, I, um, I I actually used to have this comic book when I was a kid, and I bought it because of the cool foil cover, and I like Hulk anyway, and. Um, I saw this in their store for like six bucks and I was like, I'll buy that. I can use that. I'm nostalgic. I'm nostalgic for nineties comics anyway, especially ones that I previously owned. And, uh, when we went into the big store, uh, another thing is, um, uh, I got the preview comics <clears throat> or the preview magazines, I guess. You never been to a comic store? Dude, we have, apparently we have two really good ones in making. Um, uh, one of them, one of the preview books they had was when it's for IDW, and I guess apparently now IDW is doing um, Ninja Turtles. And uh, the guy that owns the comic book store said that this uh, Turtles in Usagi is really good, which I don't know. It looks really goofy and cartoony to me. the The one that I usually dig is um, this this Turtles, the one that's like the last Ronin shit. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more serious. It's a little bit more like Batman kind of stuff. Uh, but IDW does a lot of licensed shit. They do like Transformers comics that apparently the new Transformers shit is supposed to be really good. They got Godzilla versus the Power Rangers. Uh, they've got, um, what is it? Uh, got uh, Godzilla versus Power Rangers. You got My Little Pony. For all you bronies out there. Oh, this thing comes with a poster. It's a Power Rangers poster. Oh, here's some Sonic comics for, for you people who like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog comic books. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, dude, I love comic books, man. They're so, they're so good. Like, if you, like, really read comic books, you kind of won't give a fuck about comic book movies. <laughs> and then I got the, uh, the DC... Uh, preview book and apparently they're doing some um, they're doing another Gotham by Gaslight which is cool because it's kind of like Batman crossed with Bloodborne so that's kind of sweet um, oh this is it says this is the sequel to Gotham by Gaslight it says it's going to be a 12 issue miniseries so that's cool I'll be excited to check that out but it's cool, man, because like it'll tell you like individually which issues are coming out and like what they're gonna be about and stuff. It's pretty cool. 
Detective Comics 1086. There's been a lot of those. And then um and then the Marvel book is enormous. I haven't even looked really at any of these, but there's a ton of shit. Looks like they're doing some more Ultimates stuff. Some Wolverine stuff. Oh. They're bringing back Uncle Scrooge comics. Look at this. They're bringing back Uncle Scrooge. But it's like... Oh, that's right, because Disney owns Marvel now. I forgot. I think... I'm trying to remember if Marvel always made their comics. Got some, got some more new Venom shit coming out. Okay, hold on. Somebody was asking about New Game Plus. Let me let me read the chat and see what you were saying. Hold on a sec. New Game Plus. Oh, yeah. Fucking look here. Look here. Look, listen. <clears throat> um, hold on. Let me go to all it's not showing all the messages. I think there was one that I I remember seeing. Where is it? Are you going to do New Game Plus for Dark Souls 2? Uh, yeah, I probably will eventually. Um, I, I really, now that we finished um, Bloodborne for the Return to Yarnum event, I... Uh, I, I really need to I need to get back on Dragon's Dogma and we've got um we got Dragon's Dogma, we got Yakuza Zero. Uh I still haven't finished Dark Souls three on that run that I was doing. Um What else what else are we fuck what else are we playing? Sekiro Monster Hunter. Got a lot of shit going on right now. So before I start another new game, I'm probably going to try to finish another game that I've been playing. Um, probably uh, probably going to get back on Dragon's Dogma tomorrow, I think. I think that's probably a good idea. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I would say... Um, what do you guys think? Um, probably Dragon's Dogma, right? Because the sooner I finish that, I can I can check out Dragon's Dogma too. That's crazy, isn't it? I only ended up with one Blood Rock, the whole game, and it was the one that I bought with the um, the Insight. Dragon's Dog might be good. You do want to play DD2. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing. Is uh, Yeah, I, I definitely want to play Dragon's Dogma 2. Especially after everybody's talking about how awesome it is. Um, <clears throat> oh, shit. <sighs> Well, that's awesome, man, that we were able to finish uh, all those bosses and shit, because I, uh, I severely need to go to sleep now. I thought there was a lantern to light up here. Dude, you're dead, bitch. Look at your health bar. Yeah, I might... Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I may keep um, I may keep this um, character and do the Chalice dungeons eventually. Yeah, that might be a thing. Just seriously, I thought there was a lantern in here. That's weird. But uh, yeah, at this at this point, I'll consider this game over, and um, we will. Go and, um, special bosses, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's cool, you know, we can do all that shit. We can do all that, um. I'm just not going to, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, put that 
on um on like the must do list right now you know what i mean like i gotta do it right the second list because i i definitely want to um oh yeah yeah i know i know that there's a there's other you know bosses and stuff in the dungeons and I think I think what I'll do is because this build has kind of been working out pretty good, you know, maybe this would be a good character to do them with cuz god knows that last character I made was dog shit. I definitely don't want to do the fucking hard ass chalice dungeons with that character on my last build. Um this one's this one's a lot better. But what I'll what I'll probably do is I'll just keep this character, you know what I mean? And just like when um <clears throat> when I get ready to play some more Bloodborne, you know, I'll just jump back on this character and be like, hey guys, we're gonna do the Chalice Dungeons, you know. In New Game Plus, I guess. Um But um you guys might actually have to help me because you know I haven't done the Chalice Dungeons that much. So like I honestly would probably go click on the Chalice Dungeon right now and not even figure out how to make one. Like, I know how to make the first one, but it's like I have to click on a bunch of shit and then I eventually figure out how to make it. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of crazy. It's like, okay, I need this stuff to make it and I need the money to make it and then I can make the Chalice Dungeon. And, um, oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I could even buy. Oh, shoot. Should I have spent all my insight before the end of the game? I just realized that. Or do, do the dungeons reset when you go to New Game Plus? Or are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, I have 49 insight, though. I guess I got to keep all that shit. Okay. Well, never mind, then. Cause like now we got all this stuff in here so I can, um, I guess whenever I try to make another one, I guess you gotta, you gotta buy these. Oh my God. Look at all these different ones. There's so many different ones. Oh wow. So these are all different kinds of dungeons. So I think I used this one. Oh my god, there's a million of them. Maybe I should get the Maria set. Since I have a female character. Wee. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. see the amygdala. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I guess I didn't get any better gems just for killing the boss, huh? Every once in a while, I just check just to be sure I didn't pick up something good and I didn't know about it. Okay, yeah. All right. Welcome to the hunter's dream. Just chilling what's the hunt? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I'm sure there are people out there with the answers and they may be right or they may be wrong answers. Uh. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I can't spend my money. I have to go back to the level first. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um yeah. Tomb mold. 
Boy, there's so much shit in it. Hunter Chief Emblem. Burial Blade. That was a Dex. Yeah, I thought that was a Dex. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard Burial Blade's really good, and I've never used it. <sighs> mm, shit. All right, guys. Well, let me get on off of here and go to sleep, because I got to go to stupid work in the morning. But uh going to try to do some Dragon's Dogma tomorrow after work, I think. I think that's a good idea. So, um, you guys, um, y'all have a good night and Jacob, I hope you feel better and captain. Thanks for jolly co op with me for the rest of the game. Penny, have a good night. Make yourself go to sleep. Kill the spider. If it's keeping you awake. <laughs> All right, thanks you guys. Love y'all. We'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Should be should be Dragon's Dogma tomorrow.